You're listening to the H- All right. Podcast. I got a bone to pick with my so-called fans. Mm-hmm. You know, as Kendrick Lamar once said, and I, that's not what he said. He said, he does say that. Oh, he does? I got a bone to pick. Oh, yeah. You're, oh, you're right. He does say that. But that's not what I meant. First of all, welcome everybody to the H3 Podcast. I am your host, Fupish Maximus. My beautiful, lovely wife, the icon, the CEO, way out of my league, yet here we are. Good luck, Ethan. Do you have any advice to people who are trying to date out of their league? Thank you, Keemstar. Ela? Mm, you just gotta be cool. Oh, so you think I'm cool? <laughs> Is that a compliment? Yeah. <laughs> she thinks I'm cool, guys. I still got a chance. I got a chance to make this thing work. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, I was a little bit late today. A little bit. And all y'all are talking in the live chat about tanking my wiki feed as um, uh-huh. as punishment. Okay, when the... Has it been 30 seconds? Can I curse? Uh, give it a few. Okay, all right. <laughs> when the S hits the fan, are you still a fan? Right. Right, I, come, I show up a minute late and y'all talking about tanking my wiki feed? I mean, come on, where's the loyalty? This is a foot soldier army, bro. Ah! Okay, 15 minutes late. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, late. Minutes, late. Fine. minutes late. What if I... Okay. Maybe I deserve a... F- I think point. you deserve a tank. <laughs> point one, maybe. But I was doing something. I was preparing to I make the show I stand with the tank. Stop <laughs> it! How dare you? You stand with the tank. <laughs> About the piece of love your ass would talk like that. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. So unpresidential. <laughs> Man, there's so much drama in the news. I can't even keep track of it. <laughs> Today we're talking about, you know, something so crazy happened on uh, the David Dobrik front. Is that there's like a Clips channel. Oh, I thought you said Eclipse. There's an Eclipse, bro. The world <laughs> is ending. There's a Clips channel of Views, the podcast, which is David's podcast. And think it's a fan they say it's a fan run account but these this fan account dug out from the vault him talking about this seth prank and the way he talks about it is so bad Mm -hmm. it makes it so much worse yeah and um that's what i was doing on tiktok i'm just trying to promote here you entertain because i want to say wow i'm just gonna say wow you're still not done yeah i'm just saying wow Wow. Wow. I just said wow, wow. and now I'm going to go watch. What a TikTok. Watch live. Wake up. Um, go ahead, Ela. It's just, I'm almost done. It's your podcast. Boom. Done. 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 Okay. Done. And done. that I was my it. show. Done. Okay. Good to Ela's show. Sorry, guys. I was just so desperate to <laughs> put that up. Back to you, Ethan. <laughs> so, before I get into, oh, then there's like James Charles, this huge dude. <sighs> James Charles just got exposed from another person he was hitting up in, like, the snaps. And this time it's, like, again, way worse than anything that's ever happened. Is that a a new event? It just happened, like, an hour ago. Wow. Oh, no! Exactly. Oh, no! It just happened an hour ago. It's already blowing up on Twitter. And, like, I don't... We're going to talk... I'm going to sit on... We're going to talk about with Trisha on Monday because I'm going to put some work into it. Right. Wow, sister snapped. Definitely snapped. Philly D finally covered the um, Dobrik story. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say that, uh, you know, I had anything to do with it. <laughs> so, 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 so. But it's nice to see. Um, it's definitely picking up. I saw articles about it. Yeah, but, like, nothing's happening still. You know, it's like, I don't know how. You can just... I didn't know you could just ignore stuff to this level. Yeah, it's disturbing. But nobody's, I guess there's no consequence. So as long as there's no consequence, then who cares? Like I saw him even being touted in an anti bullying Here, you got to see this shit. Uh, at bullying prevention tour, you guys. I made a tweet. I said, David Dobrik going on an anti-bullying tour is like me going on a tour telling people how to lose weight. <laughs> it's just nobody should be taking weight loss advice from me. Did they remove his... <laughs> no, here he is. Yeah. <laughs> that's you were laughing like. <laughs> that headshot. Yeah, that's the same one I always see. I don't know why he loves this. 
Why are you touching your face? What are you musing? I mean, I don't get it. Oh, this. Okay, we have all kinds of juice drama. He's also blocking. We found out keywords mm. on his vlog to prevent people from talking about it. Um, anyway, we'll get into all this. But first, I wanted to mention. Hi, Shredder. Are you saying hi to everyone? I wanted to mention that we have a new little drop coming out on Teddy Fresh. Got to hype Ela up. This is some Ela stuff. This shirt finally came out. Yes, my favorite. Heavy work shirt by Ela Klein. It's a pretty. I mean, it's really incredible it's the something detail. I always wanted to do to find a way to like take stuff from my sketchbooks and find a way to present it and share it because you just can't really share sketchbooks or really even present it. So um, this took us a year because we wanted the shirt to be really nice and to get the artwork to fit the way I wanted it on each size too. Like it was a whole thing. Well, it's really hard to make it look like it's actually markers. Like yeah. someone actually just, like if you got, it looks like somebody just drawing it with markers. That's not easy to do. So there you have it. That's hot. We That's why Eli had to draw on every single one. She drew on every <laughs> single one. Yeah. Um, and then also and the women's pants new pants. releases, women's pants. People have been wondering. What boom. Women's yeah. pants. Where you at? Here oh, they are. Hot. Women's pants. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Hit them with it. Oh, you got that rubber pants? Hit them with it. Why'd you have oh, to, why'd hot. you have to do that to them? Yeah. You didn't have to. Why'd you have to do mm. it? Why'd you do this? What the hell? You know, got to put that extra spice. Vibe. And I'm going to take a little credit because I designed this one. Thank you very much. I designed got a vibe. this and the other one. Thank you. Thank you with peace and love. What was that sound bite of me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. So go to teddyfresh.com. See if there's something you like. Thanks. All right. Oh, and then another thing before we get into the goss. Goss. In the last episode of the H3 Podcast, we had this whole fashion show that was really great. And we were specifically making fun of this Balenciaga shirt. Yeah. So and then, of course, shirts. everyone's like, yo, Trisha actually bought this shirt. Yeah, so this that's so funny. And I was like, of course she did. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, by the way, that's... that's <laughs> surprised of what she got. It's pretty funny. It comes with two hangers. Yeah. That is so funny. Oh my God. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so Balenciaga made this shirt so taking the piss out. Right there. And they sold it for like thirteen hundred bucks. This literally looks like a project. Like this looks like this looks like a Hanes shirt. I mean she doesn't like, like it. I think she, she obviously just bought it for the gag. Uh, pretty funny though. Together. You know it's, it's a good gag. It's true that even the shirts they used are like 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 uh, Trisha said like Hanes. Just really shitty generic shirts. Nah. Uh -uh. Oh, no way. The silhouettes they use? You right. will not convince me of that. And that's right bullshit. Left. What, the, this plain blue shirt isn't just... I'm not saying they used Hanes. I'm saying the shirts that they used are like some bullshit generic Costco stuff. No, it's really Boy nice. Cup. You're crazy. Bro, are you talking about the same item I am? This? Yeah. What's What do, what do you mean? I'm sure it's made of really nice fabrics. I know. I'm sure it's made of nice fabrics, but I'm saying the so design. What do you mean? Uh, this shirt on the front it looks like something you would get at Costco. Okay. Yeah, that's the design. Okay. I don't oh, brother. I don't know what you were saying. Oh, oh, right. Anyway, she bought it. That was a little more funny. Wait, can I see it? Yeah, yeah. I want to see her in it. Let's fast forward. Oh, no. Not <laughs> oh, Jason. No. Oh, not Jason. Oh. Get the fuck. No. Wait, can you erase someone from a video? <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can find a shot without him. There you right, go. There you Thank go. You. Bye, asshole. Well, don't be stupid. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna get my boyfriend's opinion on this when he comes. But what do we think? Nah. You can't Is this prove a hit with that. Or a miss. Miss. <laughs> Balenciaga. <laughs> I wonder if we Did could borrow this. Dude, they Halloween. literally just scammed her for thirteen hundred dollars, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I wonder if she kept this. Also, we look how it like too much money. how it hangs. Yeah, I'm how it like at that too. It pulls this it's fabric not even forward. Like, like you would think, if they would, they would at least like at, engineer something. Exactly. Yeah. It just literally pulls your shirt. Yeah. Which doesn't even spawn. So I don't know why I'm even pretending like it's wearable, but I mean, you think they would at least try? No, I definitely was video. thinking about yeah. that. 
Why not try to get someone in that shirt? Like, I mean, it's a fully wearable shirt. Like, if we got that, you could we wear could the front. It. I could wear the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why not? <laughs> I'm going to David's surprise party tonight. Oh, my God. Could you imagine I show up in this? Now you're living. I mean, it looks like something she made. I don't think people would think it was. Dis what does this have to do with 9 11? Wasabi, wabi, wabi, or whatever your name is. 9 11. Wasabi? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, once again, shout out to Trisha for being ahead of the curve as usual. Yeah. Trisha's always Trisha's like the simp the YouTuber version of The Simpsons. She's already done everything. She's already done it. You know. <laughs> People were upset that I was weighing myself in the the uh, previous episode. I mm. get it, but I'm not going to stop because it's my, a token of how committed I am to this diet. It hurts. It's painful. It's not healthy, but I'm going to keep doing it. You do it on every episode on the middle of the week Yeah, episode? I'm going to do it once a week in the middle of the week. So that'll be on the Thursday episodes. Gotcha. I'm committed. I am going to stay strong. I'm going to step on that scale and face my demons every fucking week. And I'm still on keto, a raging state of ketosis, which, <laughs> Zach, <laughs> I honestly <laughs> feel fine. I feel fine. I feel like the word ketosis is funny. Yeah, Am it's I, ridiculous. I'm not alone in that, right? No, it like, sounds ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're undergoing some chemical reactions. Like, no, I just don't eat carbs. <laughs> it's not that serious. I feel fine, though. I mean, I don't feel, like, weird or off or sleepy. Or, I mean, I feel totally fine. Good. A little Good. constipated, but... Yeah, that's normal. A little oh, really? bit, though. Not too bad. Like, oh. I had a couple of BMs that were super clean that I was happy about. Mm. Like, no I would think the opposite, that carbs would make you um, Dude, no way, man. I'm tight. I'm tight and dry down there. Mm. Fuck yeah. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. I, w I was just hoping to see results faster because yours was so, it seems like people have such dramatic results with this. But, okay, I'm going to stick with it. You I'm gotta not, stick with it, man. You're gonna, you're gonna get there. You're gonna achieve enlightenment. I, I swear to you. Thank you, Guru Zach. Thank you, Maestro. <laughs> Dude, I've been ordering Chipotle. I think you know, just give it a shot. Just try for a good amount of time. I'm going to. I'm fully committed. At least a month. Mm. A after a month, I should see like real results, right, Zach? Like it shouldn't be. It's like, oh, I, I lost three pounds. No, it should be like fucking twenty pounds, right? Well, I mean, it, again, it depends. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. It depends. I like lost 70 pounds in two months. I want that. Was, like, was it was in two months, Zach? Every, it was three months, and it I was, was running three. every day. And he was young. Okay, you're changing the story. You literally said two months the first time. I don't think time. he said two months. Yes, he did, because I was like, wow, that's more than a pound a day. How's that possible? Three months. Three months. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, well, okay. Two sounds but, a little bit of a stretch. I think you, 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 you're setting yourself up to failure. That's a crazy expectation. You I'm not quitting. Okay, but don't expect such a big, because uh, then you'll be disappointed, you know? Ex expect disappointment, and then you'll be happy. Ela, I have, throughout my life, always expected disappointment. So why change now? <laughs> do you feel better? Like, do you feel, are, are, have you noticed the clothes, anything? Is no! I haven't noticed the clothes. <laughs> the clothes are tight. This shirt it's barely come. fits me. This is an XL. I guarantee next week you will. Teddy I guarantee. Fresh, by the way, Teddy Fresh stuff. First of all, it fits look, you. Look better on you than me. <laughs> I gotta say, it does. It does fit you well. And there was a moment where you started thinking, like, maybe I need to excel. That's true. And but this fits you well right now. So maybe you that just need to like adjust your expectations. You. I guess the, you think a, maybe hmm, you think yeah. maybe a month ago I wouldn't fit this. Yes. Because I remember you starting to say you're starting to need 2XL That's stuff. not good. Yeah, I don't want to be a 2XL. That's hot. I can live with XL, but 2XL is like, bro, just fucking, just fucking. Well, it, it really is Just hard. dive to the bottom of that Ben and Jerry carton, dude, because <laughs> you, you've lost the battle. It's hard to wear, like, fashionable <laughs> things, I feel like. Because I've seen your struggle when I'm like, oh, we got all this steady fresh. And you're like, I don't want to wear anything. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I know. It sucks. I guess to give you a little comfort, I was a 3X. That was the highest I was. Doesn't so. give me comfort. But well, no. I mean, you haven't reached 3X yet. You know, you're going you're saying, Right. You're saying there's still hope even at 3X. That is good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. 
You were three X? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> just being... He's really tall, though. Yes, yeah, he's much taller. Zach is him. really tall. How tall are you, Zach? Uh, six, six foot three. Six hmm. three. Wow, what a hunk. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I am committed. Oh, I've been eating these uh, Chipotle bowls, like. Keto style, and it's so nasty because, like, there's no rice, there's no beans, so there's nothing to really hold it together. It's just a goo bowl. It's like guac. Wait, what do you get? What do you get? Exactly. <laughs> you get tons of meat, basically. You get all the salsa. Guac, sour cream, cheese, lettuce, salsa. It's a goo bowl and some chicken. You could eat it with a straw, basically. Oh. Yeah. This is sick. Yeah. It is disgusting. But uh, it's. In a really weird way, it really works for me. Whatever you're eating right now, you like to, I'm kind of enjoying because I love Chipotle, for example. So mm -hmm. now we're ordering Chipotle. It's so interesting that you love Chipotle because you're like, I just, I find that interesting. But I love because it. Because I love the bowl with rice and mm -hmm. beans. Are we getting that for dinner tonight? I can eat that every day. <laughs> Until you can't. Until you can't. That's what I say. Chipotle is <laughs> like all in or all out. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of Except interesting. Except eating it, boo -boo. <laughs> I have to, I mean, listen, I have to, I'm not saying this as a meme. I have ex painful, explosive diarrhea every time I eat Chipotle, so I feel like that helps my weight loss, too. Oh, God. It's because you get, like, all the salsa. No, I don't digest the food. It's like I didn't eat it. <laughs> That's when you should weigh yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be performing an enema. I'll be drinking uh, oh, magnesium, Coffee milk enema. of magnesium. <laughs> it's like it's like a bullshit weigh-in. You're still, you know. There's gaining. a, a oh. super chatter who said that Zach's running was incidental. The running wouldn't have accounted for that much of a weight loss. It was the keto. You can't outrun a bad diet team keto. Oh. Check, uh, check this out. Words the chat is saying that Chipotle now has cauliflower rice. That you could eat that. Oh, I saw that on the. I saw that on. Um, That's on Postmates option. Try I've it. had it. It's pretty good. Can I be it honest with you guys? Good. I just I don't like cauliflower. The okay. fuck out. To me, it's an offensive. Yeah. Thing. Why you care about cauliflower? Yeah, that it's much? good. Cauliflower is awesome. You it's care great. about cauliflower that much? You can tell me yeah. get the fuck out. For yeah. vegetarians, You're gonna cauliflower is awesome. I, I like broccoli better. What's with cauliflower? They're getting everything. They're in the crust. They're in the rice. It's like cauliflower guy needs to take a <laughs> take a fucking trip and leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> the cauliflower marketing is yeah, on the, point. <laughs> the cauliflower all, guy just needs to go win in all the awards and just get the fuck out of my life. I think broccoli needs the, more marketing. Broccoli, too. I like broccoli. Pretty tasty. The the taste sometimes you have to you know take a dive on the taste of the food because you know you will ch achieve a better result of losing weight. Like sometimes you're just gonna have to say, oh fuck it, it tastes like shit. But it's all for the ketosis. It's better than not eating rice. <laughs> ketosis or sounds something. like a like a um. <laughs> it sounds like a deadly like condition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, it just I sounds so funny. I hate to tell you this, Mrs. Klein, but your husband is in an acute in state ketosis. of ketosis. <laughs> we don't know if he's going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try it. I'm going to try it tonight, Zach, the cauliflower okay. rice. Um, With Ethan, the chipotle? Ethan makes yeah. a really good broccoli soup. Thank you, Elon. Mm, I agree. It's great. You it's should make so a simple. TikTok to show people how to make it. Fuck you, right? I'm. Lo I should do. Yeah. I should be making TikToks. Cause that broccoli soup is like a life hack. It kind of is a life hack. It's so simple. It tastes great, and then you and can so consume you. so much broccoli without even thinking about it. Nice. Pop a flex. Nice. You're on the. You're on the. You're on it with the soundbite, Jack. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should. You're right, Ela. Just tell me, because I'm always looking for new TikTok content, because I'm okay. basically like a TikToker now. That one is great. You got to show okay. how to make that. Okay. Sounds good. So Honestly, even your quiche would be pretty... So easy to make. Easy to you. I have no idea how to do it. Bro, still. oh my God. Okay. So. Can you do that quiche recipe? Oh, you have to watch my TikTok. He makes it like without <laughs> even looking up a recipe. Like, who can make your quiche without looking up a recipe? All right. 
Well, I what just you made it. In? I made it once, and then you just get better at it. That's how I like to cook. Is like you, you either you get it from like my my brother told me about this recipe, or you look one online. You get the idea of basically how to do it, and then now since I know basically how to do it, I start doing it myself and figuring out how I like it. Yeah, I think most people can't do that. Really? Mm-hmm. I guess I'm a genius. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. What the fuck? <laughs> you should play the rice gum and Hila back. Like, you do it. Play back. <laughs> All right, you guys want to talk about David Dobrik? Look, I know you. I know some of you don't like hearing about this, but I do feel this is important, and you guys are going to enjoy this just, because it's so crazy. You know, to begin with, even I didn't really think I cared enough about David Dobrik's story. Mm -hmm. But the more I learn about it, I just really am surprised that no one is talking about it, like, in a serious way. This is a serious situation. Well, you know, situation. it's super serious. And what's fascinating to me is his ability to just li ignore, ignore, yeah. ignore. It's like that... Uh, I would feel like if that happened to me, I would have to just, like, go bury myself in a... In a just end, like, end it. Like, or there's at least no... least acknowledge it, like, right away. <laughs> but he's like Shaggy, wasn't me. I saw you in the bathroom, wasn't me. me. That's David right now. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how a girl... Uh, there's some joke. How, no, like, how much... How guilty you look. Like, the night. person that was in the situation... On video. ...is saying he was assaulted... Saying it, it was so bad to him, he had to move states. Like, how are we just going to brush over that point? But okay. he had to move. And wait till you see this video I have for you today. Because this, for me, puts it all in perspective. But until then, I was watching his new uh, uh, episode of Views. Because, like, I was... This is the wrong video that you're setting up. This is the comment section. Yeah, this is what... I, this oh, is what what, yeah. Okay. He's been filtering comments out because I was looking through his comments. Like, I saw on TikTok, all the top comments were like, when are you going to respond to this Seth thing? And I was like, oh, wow, so people are aware of this. Mm -hmm. And that went back 20 minutes later, they were all gone. Mm. Then I went to his YouTube, and there was, like, literally nothing about it. And I was like, wow, that's so weird. So we did some tests to see what keywords And But to blocking. be fair, it is hard sometimes to say people throw that accusation very freely when we a lot of times, I know, I just want to yeah. say that a lot of times YouTube just mixes up the comments all the time so people will think everyone is deleting comments. Like People say that to people us, say like, all, about and by the way, it, all the time. Like, it frustrates me it. I just so want to acknowledge that, you know, that is another side of that and it gets thrown away all the time Very at true. everyone. Well, the other thing that happens is top comments on YouTube are always, um, or not, but a lot of times YouTube, like, rotates them yes so there's so. a big top but so people always accuse you of, of so what we did to make absolute sure is that we first of all would put something on his channel and see if it would get through if is enough oh like this yeah if it did not go through then we would go to our channel where we know it's not being filtered and see if it would go through because sometimes how do you know if it went through well, here. Because, okay. well, because it shows, right? Right, AB? You can see it in the chat. If it doesn't go through, you can't see it in the chat when you refresh. Right. And I double-checked on a separate account. Fuck yep. You, you can always see it yourself. So what, <laughs> what you do... <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Just Sorry, just for it. <laughs> You know that's what Trisha was saying. <laughs> Oh man, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> this guy's ring around the trigger. And all that. <laughs> Zach, you were coming Just into like, it. You are the AB's top. voice, boom. <laughs> that's kind of the way to do it, though. Yeah, I mean, no, it's funny. <laughs> wow, Zach. Amazing. So, what you do is, for, okay, let's say I want to see if Kiss, for example, is blocked. So, yeah. I will go and write Kiss. Now, you see it from your own account. So, you would switch to a different account, sort by new, and if it's not there, then it means it's blocked. Sometimes YouTube blocks itself, right, through their own automated, you know, filter. So then you go to my channel, the podcast channel, type kiss, switch accounts, it's there. That mm. means he definitely has it blocked. So he has blocked kiss and kissing. I wouldn't say definitely, but I would say most likely. I would say, okay, so very, very, I mean. There is no 100% proof, but, you know, it's most likely. There. It's very high up there. 
So he's blocked kiss and kissing. We've proven that, right? Guys came in here. We were gonna do this whole. The S A. I don't even want to say it. Don't even show it. S A. You guys know is also blocked. A little bit because you guys walked in with the security guard. I'm gonna mute it. Um, so that is blocked. I can't not show it. It's fine. It's fine. Just don't say it. S A. And uh, uh, when test. Yeah, so SA, when posted on ours, was not removed, interestingly. You know what I mean? So he is filtering out comments. Very sly, of course. Um, now, here's where it gets really wild. You guys, I'm just going to play this video and you watch it. This is candid take from his podcast after the prank took place. You guys just watch this. It's, a, it's five minutes long, but I swear to God, it's worth every single second. So let's listen. You know what? I, I don't want to show that image of them. I don't want to do that. I need something else to show. You want to just just open audio. another window and put it over it. <laughs> you know? Here, I'll just do it like this. Oh, let, let, let's talk about okay. this. What really made me happy. <laughs> what? Today, we pulled a prank on, oh. on my friend Seth. Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. It's, now it's now probably, you can talk about it. It's probably the best prank I've ever, I've ever pulled on anyone, in my opinion. It was, we have this scary mask. Um, that we've been pranking people with, and it's just a scary mask, and everyone knows that that that, it, that it's it's a mask. And I told him, I told Seth, hey man, I want to do this bit. It's like a dream sequence where you where you make out with the mask guy, and it just you looks like you're this. dreaming, and you're making out with an old man because the mask makes you look like an old man. And I'm like, Corinna's gonna be in it, and Corinna's a girl in my vlogs, and he's like, and he's he thinks Corinna's really attractive. So Corinna's kind of like the hot girl in David's vlogs. Yeah, so so he's like, so he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm totally down. And I'm like, yeah, Seth, just don't hold back. You can make out as much as you want, have as much tongue as you want, just keep kissing her. And and, but what so this part is really interesting to me because he explicitly explains how he misled him. He's totally confirming everything we yeah. know. Even in greater detail everything. because he's he because when you watch the video you go, Why are they making out so hard? Yeah. He explicitly instructed him to kiss hard. And he's saying a it's lot. a girl that he thought was attractive. Yeah. Like so clearly it was interested. Exactly. <laughs> what Seth didn't know is that I replaced Corinna with Jason. <laughs> so Jason was under the mask. Jason, what is and, wrong? And, okay, with you, bro? you let's watch. Okay, let's okay, watch. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna play it. I'm playing. Okay. And everyone's everyone everyone in the room's like, this isn't gonna work. This everyone gonna doubted work. you. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah. Brandon, Corinna, like, this isn't gonna work. This is stupid. Because of the size difference. Because of the size difference. About six feet. Corinna's about five six. And then so the no, sorry, I gotta pause because that's an another important point to call out. Is because a lot of people's evidence that it's fake. Is because how could he not notice the size difference? And so he explicitly says, this is something we were worried about, yet it still worked. Again. It starts going, and Seth is there sitting on the couch. Jason walks in as Corinna. He's not speaking, obviously. Sits next to her. Seth leans in, and as he's leaning in, I'm like, fuck yeah. I got it. It's game over. It's in the bag. I sit down. I put my hand. I put my hand on Seth's knee, and I put my hand behind his back and start rubbing his back and squeezing his knee, and then he just just leans in and just goes at it. I slip him the tongue first. <laughs> like, okay, very it's incriminating. So, it's moment. so gross to think about when you know how Seth feels. You yes, know, that he's been assaulted. It's really gross. Even listening. Don't say that. Oh. So here is very incriminating. He, Jason says he slipped the tongue first and grabbed his knee. So Jason made the first move, which, by the way, what, the, what is wrong with you, dude? Okay. <laughs> with tongue, they start making out. And at this point, we're like five seconds in, and I'm like, this is it. This is what I wanted. I got what I wanted. I'm out. Like, we can end this. And I'm like, Seth, Seth, like, I'm ready to talk. He's coming hard. Now he's coming into my mouth with his tongue so hard. You could tell his, his tongue is... Did he grab my ass? He grabbed your ass. He grabs Jason's ass because he thinks it's Corinna. At this point, the poor dude probably has a boner. <laughs> And he's really making out with Jason. And I'm like, Seth, Seth, Seth. And I'm trying to get him to stop, but he thinks... Hey, Jason, you know you could stop it, too. Right. Like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. How could Jason subject him... How could... I mean, first of all, Jason, it... The, uh, 
That's a good plan. Out of the bit, and he keeps going for 25 seconds. Literally, 20, I'm not over exaggerating. It's in the vlog. 25 seconds. Nick. There, there. I'm sorry. I have to pause, but like he's like blaming Seth. You know, it's like he keeps going. It's like humiliating to him. Right. He keeps going. It's like you guys could have stopped at any time. He thinks Jason, he's making out with this girl that yeah. he thinks is hot. So and she's a willing participant, right? I like Jason why, is all in. Why is it confusing to them that he kept going? And making out with this guy. And I'm like, I, I, I literally, I think I looked up to the ceiling and I'm like, God, what did I do to deserve such <laughs> beauty? And I'm sitting there going. Again, I got to pause. To, what did I do to deserve? He looks up to the ceiling. I thought he was going to say something like, okay, this has gone too far. Yeah. No, he goes, what did I do to deserve such beauty? Dude, I'm telling you, this clip is from another world. And just remember, his fan. A fan account posted this. <laughs> like what, this morning or yesterday? Man, crazy. David, call it, please. Please, just call it, David. Bring her in. in. Jason. It's going on and on, and it is so aggressive. Like, they're making out, like, super aggressive. And then I call Corinne into the room, and Corinne is standing right next to me. And then, and then I'm like, Seth, Seth. And then Seth finally lets up after 25 seconds of making out with Jason. And he sees Corinne, and he just fucking loses it. <laughs> Yeah, it was. It was. It great. was my favorite you thing. You can't fake that. You know, it it's, was just. It wouldn't be something you could ever fake. It was so perfect, and I feel so bad. And it's just, it's, it's awful because the poor guy had to go through that, and his friends are probably <laughs> going to chew him out for that for the next like three, five years of his life. <laughs> well, as really important. I feel so bad, but thank you, God, for this joyous occasion. And I know here's it. His, his life is going to be ruined for three to five years. But so important. I know he's going to get <laughs> shit for this for three to five years. Yeah. I know. And and then meanwhile, he's plotting the next time he's going to do it again. Seth tells that the uh, homosexuality is not so accepted in his where he comes from. <laughs> Seth's from Cal okay. Okay, well, sorry, I got it. I'm sorry, it's just, it, let me go back. Dude's not so accepted in his, where he comes from. <laughs> Seth's from Compton. Dude's kissing dudes is not so accepted. Seth's from Compton, so it's like the perfect, like, these straight dudes kissing it's literally dudes. literally the perfect setup. Like, a guy from Compton, and I made him make out with another older man. For it's good for Seth. Seconds. It, yeah. get, it gets him. It gets him some airtime. Seth. Seth was really gets him. Uh, Dude, it, this is so it gets twisted, him airtime. This is so twisted. He, what a so, way to justify it in your head. Like, yeah, it's gonna ruin his life back in his community for three to five years, but he gets his airtime. The fact that he knows, he's literally explaining in every way how and why it's so messed up what he did. He says, where he comes from, kissing other dudes is not acceptable. He's from Compton. I know that about him. Which does confirm that he is, he did, because we know he specifically targeted him. Yeah. And, it, and I think this all but confirms he did it because he's black and he's from Compton. He literally he, just admit that. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be a more perfect setup. A guy from Compton making out with an older guy. Yeah. Bragging about it. I mean, it's so... Uh, it's, it's so sadistic, you know? And then to have done this and to do it again. Like, he's plotting to do it again. So, here we go. Initiated into the vlog. He was as angry as he could have been, but he really couldn't because he was just like, okay, you... Okay, you again. He says he's, he's as angry as he could have been. I mean... He handled it really well. It was... He, he was. He gave it up. He was like, I don't know what to say. That was great. A hundred percent. That had to be one of my favorite pranks. It just, it was, it just worked. <laughs> so, what, so, about him being a good sport, I want to tell oh a little like, anecdote. I've been really deep into this true crime stuff, and there's one really interesting um, episode I saw. I think it was Dateline or something like that. <clears throat> a guy was friends with his neighbor, very close friends, straight guy, Christian guy. They were really close friends. Turns out his best friend, his neighbor, is a gay man. And so he goes on like Sally, Jesse, Raphael, or one of these trashy talk shows of the time, and he says, hey... And they tell, they tell the guy, you have a secret admirer. Do you want to come on the show? He says, sure. So he comes on the show, and it turns out his secret admirer is his best friend. His best friend who's gay, and he's in love with him. And this guy is from a super conservative family. 
<clears throat> whose parents like are not down with that. And, and so anyway, he plays along with it. He's like, he plays along with it. He's like, oh man, you got me. It's so good, you know, because he's on television. He's shocked. He's in the moment. It's, it's kind of natural to be like, you have, Seth explained it in an interview. It's like you have two choices. You know, yeah. either you throw hands or you just kind of just say, it's already done. I'm in the good graces of David. I just, I'm just going to endure it, <clears throat> you know. And so, and it's on camera, you know. And so, back to the story. So, the best friend brought, he felt, he brought him on TV, humiliated him uh, by coming out to him. And, try, and he was insinuating that he thought he was gay and that he wanted to be with him. And the, it was the humiliation of doing it on TV that a few days later, wh I, when you watch the clip, it seems like it's all good. And he's like, no, nah, he's laughing and smiling. A few days later, he actually murders his best <laughs> friend because he was so distraught. He was so troubled by what happened and the, how he was humiliated that he... He committed. So that my point is, is that just because he's playing along and on camera doesn't mean anything. No. It still can be, and it clearly was for Seth, as he says, so traumatic. I just find it interesting that he acknowledges he couldn't have been more mad at the same time. Right. Ugh, it's so it's so fucked up, dude. It's honestly, it just it's so fucked up. When you, when you had, um, you told me Jack's hand was cut open because Heath was throwing dishes. And when I found out, I was like, shit, that was good. You got me. Yeah. No, I love the, I love the making out pranks. I got, you gotta I gotta, give it up when you give it up. No, it was great. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's all the time we have for today, guys. But yeah, let us know. Definitely tweet us about what you thought about the podcast. Let us know how much you hate us. Let us know how much <laughs> yeah. Jason deserves in percentages. Um, check out my vlog. Check out my YouTube channel. Check out all of Jason's things. Speed my kids. Watch, the, watch my ads. Is that, is that too much to say? Is that grubby? Please, please come to Jason's house and give him money. You know, I want to say to the people that do watch my YouTube channel, thank you so much. I think much. that's it. So I feel like... It couldn't be any worse, really. That, that, cli that clip for David? That clip is just... Yeah. It's troubling. And, he, and, then, and then you top it all off with the fact that he went and did it again. And now, after Seth is coming to terms with how traumatized he is by this, he is refu he's blocked him and refusing to acknowledge it. Yeah. That is the biggest part for me. It's like, even after all this time, he still didn't have the like personal development on himself david to like understand what he did was wrong and try to make it better try to fix something i think my take on david is that he's so on top of the world in so many ways mm -hmm. that he's afraid he's not a, he doesn't care about doing the right thing he just wants to do whatever keeps gives him the best chance of maintaining his current status Mm -hmm. And for him, he real I think he knows, or maybe suspects, I don't know what would happen. Probably be better if he acknowledged this as soon as Seth had a problem with it. Because now he's in this position where... At any point, I mean... I don't know. He's not, he's not at all concerned about what's doing, what, what's right. He knows that, yeah. he thinks if he acknowledges it in any way, then everybody's going to become aware of it. And then all of his partners and sponsors and all these huge things he's involved with are all of a sudden going to be like, wait a minute, I didn't mm -hmm. know that you did this. So for him, it's like, I don't think he sees it as an option to even acknowledge it. Evidenced by the fact that he's like, you know, e deleting comments and stuff and yeah. blocking Seth's number. I mean, dude, you could have just talked to him on the phone and he said he wouldn't even come on our podcast if you would have just answered his call. And by the way, I think Seth has a really good uh, case for a lawsuit mm -hmm. for what they did to him, you know, for damages and for the trauma. Uh, fuck it. I would sue him if I was Seth. I wouldn't even feel bad. Especially because he ignores him and refuses to talk to him and make it right. Your hairband is so cute. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. You're the greatest <laughs> ever. So beautiful. Stop. Bye. Stop! <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. Ay, ay, ay. It's crazy, man. You know, it's like, and now on top of this with the, like, David, with the new James Charles shit, which I'm going to talk about on Monday, because I just came out and I want to look into it more, but, like, these creators and these influencers cannot stop this madness. Just stop the madness. Essays. I don't know. It's really weird for me. Like, how did they not just... Be careful just... what you say. Essay. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I, I didn't. I Stop thought you were saying piece. essay. No, I know. Um, it's confusing. S A. The letter S, the letter do A. Do people understand why you're not saying it? Yeah, because I don't want to get my whole fucking channel deleted. Okay. Um, I just can't understand people who don't care about other people. I don't know. Like, are they just, they just don't have that capability? They just don't care? <sighs> if I... Because I feel like we've been through some things. We didn't always do the right thing, but we would always immediately try to make... Try I think on one hand, he was very young. Try to do whatever we can to fix things. Like, how do you not... I don't know. I think David just has like a... Dude, I, I, I honestly don't know. I think he just has too much to lose and he's like super scared. Even then. But ultimately, you like, have to do the right thing. Yeah. If you don't... I mean... But him, him ignoring this, I feel like, is going to make it worse and worse. It's, it is. In my head, it's only getting worse and worse. Why, yeah. why are you ignoring this? This is a really serious situation. I feel like this video clip actually now makes it so much more urgent and messed up. Mm -hmm. It's like proof that he did it because he's black. Proof that he knew it was messed up, that he was not happy about it, that it was real. And then on, t and then that he went and did it a second. I don't know, bro. It's it's a lot. It's seriously just it's a lot to handle. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So he's going on the anti bowling tour, <laughs> in context of all this. <laughs> Which is funny because even besides Seth, you have Big ah. Nick who left for being bullied. Basically. Mm -hmm. Here he is. No Place for Hate Virtual High School Tour. National tour dedicated to promoting bullying prevention. <laughs> Featuring David Dobrik. For those of you guys who found the vlog to be offensive, I'm sorry you did. For those of you who didn't <laughs> find it to be offensive, I'm sorry they did. The perfect apology for the... You better take that on tour, that kind of apology. <laughs> hmm. His, his vlogs are literally him bullying people. Like, that's the whole premise of his vlog. I mean, they say it's just jokes and stuff, and they're all in on it, but that's literally the premise. Even if you take it at face value and say there's no victims, which we know there's not, that's the premise, is that? Yeah. He's like the cool kid bully. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. It's so wild, bro. Can I say about David? No. I Okay. I've always disliked the tongue thing. I just can put that out there now that we're on the topic. The tongue <laughs> thing has always driven me crazy. Why he got to always smile with his tongue up? You always got to smile with his tongue up. Keep the tongue in your mouth, please. I'm begging you. I don't... I just... D dude, look at every... You didn't notice? His tongue is always sticking out. Like, he thinks it's so cute. And it's not like a... I think I heard him talk about... It. Yeah, it's always. It's yeah. not like a medical thing, by the way. I think I heard him explain it, so I'm not making fun of something he can't control. He literally just thinks it's cute. <laughs> He's tongue out guy. Can we stop the tongue out, please? Oh Jesus! Like it's. Whoa, my my lap. Oh, what's happening? My laptop. What's happening? Wait, do you see that? No. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Everything seems fine on the screen. No, the document no. was scrolling. You find me a picture of him smiling without his tongue out. Look, one, two. All right, Three. you're going off topic here. It's the tongue out guy. Put the tongue in. He can smile so, however he you wants. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you, well, he's not smiling, though. That one. Oh, that one's a little bit of you a... Even bit. here, you see his tongue peeking out? <laughs> Why you guys tell me? Put the Keep the tongue in, bruh. Burn. Burn. It's not quite soy face, but it's like... it's Soy face? Soy face, soy face adjacent, for sure. Like, this is a lot. It's fully <laughs> sticking out of his mouth. This is almond milk face. I'm just going to do that to you all the time. No. <laughs> How do you smile like that? Oh, like that? That's good. 
It doesn't make me cute. <laughs> you look cute. Let me like... see your tongue out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that doesn't yeah, bother people. Puppy. I don't know if that. I don't know how that doesn't bother people. <laughs> like I've always been like, dude, stop with the tongue out. Because <laughs> he's always. Uh, I know this is beside the point, but since we're on the topic, so I just want. So beside the point, we're talking about I'm basic, essays here. I'm basically just bowling. College at this essays. Point. Oh look, it's us. Tongue out. Tongue out. I'm just telling you, tongue out. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm gonna be David Dobrik's tongue and get out of this topic. <laughs> You know, Keem started. Oh, so Philly D finally covered it after I called him a coward, which I take no pleasure in, by the way. But he could have covered this story two weeks ago, but it worked, right? So shout out to Philly D. Shout out to his family. To his family. Yeah. Shout out to his family. <sighs> what else you got on the agenda? Keem Star, of course, who's known. He really cares about it. He says, should I cover, again, he's avoiding this because <laughs> yeah. it's about our interview, but he says, should I cover this David Dobrik, Jason Nash, 2017 kissing prank? Some are calling. Some are calling. <laughs> it's like, bro, it's not something It's on video. The guy who goes immediately to, right, to our allegations. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Very important This stuff. is the guy yeah. who just throws our allegations with like no sliver of anything all of a sudden Prove he's it. not sure if to even cover the story sure. and he's gotta ask on twitter by the way somehow that's fucked up somehow the majority said they don't want it which to me is because odd. it's like the kim cold it's like the fact that he's already asking he's already letting you know he doesn't care about right. the story. and also there's no context because if you don't know what it is you're like oh it's just from 2017 yeah. it's a prank like who cares so manipulative it's the way he phrased it it's like most of the people are gonna say no He's such a dude. Like, I literally can't. Uh, no, I'm not a good person. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, that, that is clear. <laughs> that is very, very clear to me. How do you feel about the... Uh, nah, let's not go there. I'm trying not to get demonetized this week. The last, like, six episodes have been demonetized, so I'm like, come on. I just want to make... Just throw me a bone here, YouTube. <laughs> talking about essays. Talking about J's. R's. Talking about R's. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trying to get some cheddar. How does anyone even understand what we're talking about I know, at this point? I know, we're just talking the whole time. <laughs> I don't know. Very no. important stuff. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We... Our last, what'd you say, six episodes are not monetized? Yeah, of, of, of After Dark, because they're yeah. live. Six in a row. It's brutal. Yeah. Soul crushing. Well, Logan Paul claims one of them. Nice. Stupid ass. <laughs> Which we've been disputing. He's doing this thing where he's letting it expire, so it takes like two months to get rid of it. Nice. Such a dude. Oh, no, I'm a oh, it'll go away eventually, though. Yeah, it'll go away eventually, but I don't like seeing the yellow. And like, he's being such a douche about it by letting it expire instead of just being like, all right, fine. It's just impulsive. He's impulsive. I can't wait to watch him move to Puerto Rico, man. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I don't really give a fuck, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> 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 uh, Logan on COVID, ladies and gentlemen. Logan on COVID. <laughs> hey, Logan, I was, uh, I just hate to let you know, but I was around people that had COVID, and we, I know we hung out recently, and I was told by the contact tracers to let you know that you may have been exposed to COVID. What do you think about that? I don't really give a fuck, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> no. It's funny, but that's literally what he said, so... Mm. I'm a motherfucking <laughs> blueberry. Anyway, that's what I've got for David. All right. But I've got a bunch of other great stuff to talk about. Like what? What you got? I'm holding my tongue so hard hold it. on you-know-who. You hold it, and you keep on holding it. <laughs> it's so hard to hold my tongue on something that happened. Sometimes you got to be... You all think I shouldn't say anything about this? No. Yeah. And I'm going to let you all know Ethan's going to no, be the no, better no, person. And you just no. trust us that he's okay, well, the well, better well, person. Okay, well, let's take about A, B, no? No. Zach? 
<laughs> like, like by, the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way. Don't even ask Zach. Hold on. I can talk about it without showing <laughs> the. No, no, no one uh, agreed to this. You can't do this. It's uh, tempting as it is, I think I got even it. Zach. Is even not. Zach. Even Zach. Ian, you maybe you surprised me. Definitely not. Really? <laughs> yeah. No. no you're living. <sighs> How can you guys be so against this? Because it's such a bad idea. Such a bad idea? Yeah. About to bust. As your as your number one simp, I gotta say. Yeah, idea. you you gotta move but on. I can't, now I can't, everyone's look. I can't help it because it's like it's you like have to. it's just fucking drilling Learn into to me, control. I feel like I'm gonna have to be the better person. I feel like I'm gonna mm-hmm. have to. It's just where like, is Joel Austin Cube? Can we get a little? Yeah, yeah. let me let Joel Austin. Let me hear what Joel Austin has to say. I better get some inspiration quick. Love, you have no idea what we're talking about. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think you should talk about it. Yeah, no, exactly. love. Trust me. <laughs> Hit him with an affirmation. Hit me with the affirmation. Come on, Joel. Talk me out of it. People don't have the final say. And some of the doors that should stop you you're going to see them open of their own accord. Of their own. It wasn't anything. Now you open it. <laughs> you can't take credit for it. What you, you were don't up take credit. Was bigger, more powerful, but somehow you defeated Goliath. That sickness should have been the end, but the door opened of its own accord. I feel like you could. This I, was it's perfect. So crypt- no, that was perfect for I me. I'm starting to believe in Joel. I'm starting to believe in Joel. Play me one more, because that one was inconclusive. No, that was it was going to get worse. I know it. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how you guys all think it's such a bad idea. How can I not? It was just so beyond. Okay, I can skip for now, but like, I don't know if I can hold on to this forever. I don't know if I'm mature enough. Do you want to be a cool guy for me? Like I told you in the beginning, <laughs> that you're cool. cool. Yeah, I do. You got to be cool, Jack. Hey, you gotta be cool. All here. right, I know everyone's gonna be mad that I didn't say anything, but just know that literally everybody here, even Zach, unanimously agreed that I shouldn't talk about it. So I guess you just have to. I think you guys, the foot soldiers, should be proud well, of it, and even though you don't know what it is, well, hold on, hold be on, hold proud on. of him for being the better person. Do you think that if me talking about this is, are you guys worried about the other person, or are you worried about me? It's both. Both. Everything. Yeah, everything. everything. Come on, man. Even Joe. Even Joe. Really? Even Joe. How could it? How could it go bad for me? Yeah, I don't because think so. you're not gonna be a cool guy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you will. It'll take you out of ketosis. Yeah. The true enlightenment. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> I think that. Well, I'll just say someone just was. Someone sent me some extremely <coughs> belligerent messages that just blew me the fuck away. Yeah. And that's basically. And we're just gonna... Just to give you a simple premise. Not everything has to make it to the show, is my opinion. <sighs> you know I disagree with that. Yeah, but <laughs> that's why you got he's an here. idiot. <laughs> and you don't surround yourself with yes men. No, everybody said no to me. Yeah, you surround yourself with no men, which is good. Oh, man. If you surround yourself with yes men, you end up in the suicide forest shooting next to a dead right. body. You know? Uh, it's yes. like not everything trust, should make it into team. the footage. Trust the team you've assembled. Don't become a, a suicide forest guy. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. And can I just give a one? No, point? that's it. Right, okay. All right, I'm out. We're guys. putting our foot down. All right. It wasn't, by the way, just so you, it no. wasn't Post Malone, if you, that's what you guys were thinking. I don't want, because no, I know that people. It's just, it's Why not anyone. It doesn't Malone? matter. No, because I, I don't want anyone to draw conclusions about who it was. It's nobody you would guess. Mm-hmm. It was no, it's nobody you would Is guess. Is this AB? Because he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was AB. <laughs> no, I don't want people to start speculating of like, oh, he got in a yeah. fight with Post Malone because we were talking about him. Or just, I don't want people to start speculating about who it was. Okay, well, you Shouldn't have even talked about it. It's nobody you would much. guess. It's nobody you would guess. I'll just say that. All right. <laughs> Dalia wasn't Dalia. It wasn't Dalia. I'm telling you, you wouldn't guess. You will never guess. Don't even try. It, it's so out of the. Yeah. Ethan's telling the truth. It, yeah. It, it yeah. literally would be impossible to guess because it's just, so absurd. It wasn't Shane Ryland. It wasn't anyone. I don't want you guys yeah. to guess. You'll never guess. Joe Biden. Don't speculate. I feel like it's going to come out in due time. Just work these Like out. Joe said, 
Uh, Joel. Yeah, what he, he said, say? let the door open itself. Play one more. No. One more. No. Play one more Joel Osteen. No, not thinking that. You play that fucking Joel Osteen. <laughs> we got so lucky. <laughs> well, I wasn't even convinced. We got so lucky. Play, you play that Joel Osteen no. song. Play it. He's a scared of what Joel might say. <laughs> you play that Joel Osteen. It was too perfect. You play that motherfucking Joel Osteen. Okay. But, the, but we already made up our minds. Okay, so. fair enough. All right. Uh, I declare that you are a people builder. You will look for opportunities to encourage others by bringing out the best in them yeah. and to help them accomplish their dreams. Yeah. You will yeah. speak yeah. words of faith and victory. Okay, stop it. This I, I, Joel's right. Buy the cube. What if, Joel, what if Joel was like, you will tell him about those text messages. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you will have the final word. Oh, uh, that's good. <laughs> Just all vengeful, Joel. The cube works. Yeah, Joel's right. I'll be. I will be a people builder. <laughs> Kenneth wants me to talk about it. <laughs> I'm healed in the yeah. name of Jesus. <laughs> Kenneth is pissed. <laughs> oh man. Boy, Boy you're Joe bold. Rogan. I can <laughs> Jack it's film? Not, no, that's it's funny. not anyone. So far, it's not You will not anyone. ever yeah. guess, you guys. Stop trying to guess. <laughs> and the spirit. Brace <laughs> all. I didn't even know Brace all. I just saw little Tracy. Fashion Nova. <laughs> little Tracy. Little <laughs> Tracy. Oh, no. Matt Haas. It wasn't Matt. I mentioned little Tracy. It wasn't oh, no. Matt Haas. It wasn't Matt You're going to set him up. <laughs> Yo, no little thing. Tracy, every time I, I... First of all, we mentioned him a few episodes. What was the context? I said something like... You just... You, you only said, mentioned his name because you accidentally... You were trying to refer to Little Uzi Vert. Yeah. You called him Little Tracy. You got him confused. You always get it was confused. just in passing. And he went off again on Twitter. <laughs> Little Tracy is very sensitive to me mentioning him. Because after that brief <laughs> mix-up, he literally tweeted out like, H3 Podcast, keep my fucking name out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's got beef with me. You. I should really I be afraid of little Tracy? He does not like you. I really think we should be we friends. Never said a bad word about him. little Trace. Um, I don't no, think I ever said a bad word about him. Ian, is he is he like a scary rapper, little no. Tracy? Or is he like? I, I'm not really that familiar with him. I don't know, but uh, I don't think you got to worry. No, no. I Tracy, think we should be friends. I think you should come on the podcast. <laughs> I agree, little Tracy. If you want to call in and discuss, I'd love to hear from you because. I just think it's funny, like, you're you were so aware of any time I say, and it upsets you so much, which I don't get. <laughs> no ill will here. Is he good? Why did Lil Vert, why did Lil Vert take off and Lil Tracy didn't? Well, that don't go there. That, that, we talked about him. Let's just not even go there. He was, he was in the, the origin story for Lil Nas X, because yeah. he did, like, the cowboy rap oh, style. Oh, right. That was it. Yeah, so it wasn't even about Lil ah. Vert. Hmm. You want to watch a fun vid? Pretty qu crazy. So this is a Zoom fiasco. <laughs> pretty, I love those. So there's a, yeah, this one's pretty bad. A college professor berates a student who is hard of hearing on Zoom without knowing that she's hard of hearing. You can only uh -huh. imagine the setup already is pretty juicy. Miss Salazar, I've been talking to you, Miss Salazar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, how are they supposed to participate in Zoom then? So, as I understand for watching it, she has something in her ear that translates uh, what he says really loud for her so she can hear it. But it just, it comes late. Yeah. Mm. This guy does not like it. <laughs> Miss Salazar, I've been talking to you, Miss Salazar. Uh -huh, I can hear you a little bit. You can hear me a little bit. Why didn't you answer all the times I answered? I spoke to you then. You know, thank you. Thank you. Why don't, you why, don't, why don't we talk sometimes? Why don't you email me? We'll set up a live Zoom and we're going to have some real communication at some point in time. Okay? What? Maybe you can have your counselor join us. Okay? Oh my God. Do you hear me? That's a teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Do that. It's crazy, like... They... Professor, she's actually hard of hearing, so her translator goes in a little bit. She can't respond, like, right away. <laughs> she's not paying attention. She's not trying. Oh, my but God. I love how he's not like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> how does he not know that about her if he's the teacher? <sighs> Look, there's... Even if he didn't... He... Yeah. 
they just explained it to him and like yeah. doubled down on being a douche. You know when you're angry and then you realize you're totally wrong, but you're not ready to give up being angry? Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. This but is a this curb guy, bit. It doesn't seem like a good What's nature. that? This is a curb bit. This, this is a real life <laughs> right. curb bit. You but know Larry funny? Dave would be like, oh, you're deaf? Like he would, I feel like. Your dad just told me a story. <laughs> That's totally like this. What was this. his story? But it was good. Tell uh, me my dad's story. He told a good story? <laughs> <laughs> it was a story about how he's becoming a better person. Oh my god, my dad's telling you anecdotes. Okay, go ahead. Because normally he said like he has a like customer support because he owned a shop. Mm -hmm. If people don't give customer support, he's, very, he's a stickler for it. Mm -hmm. And so he will say something. Mm -hmm. And then um, he was walking to a cashier in Trader Joe's and the guy didn't greet him or say anything. And uh, your dad said normally he would have said something. First of all, stop. <laughs> My dad is the only motherfucker in the world. <laughs> Who's gonna complain about someone at Trader Joe's <laughs> not, not chit chatting yeah. with? Like, yeah. I fucking pray they to get one of those. They talk too much. No <laughs> wonder Trader these Joe's. people are driving me crazy. They're talk. They chat me up. I don't care. Like, how are you gonna make small talk? Like, I know I'm leaving out of your life in 30 seconds. I don't care to get to know they you. They always better. ask, like, so what do you plan for this evening? <laughs> like, bro, no, you don't care, and so, I don't care that you know. So your dad said normally oh. he would have been upset and said something, but he was holding his tongue. Oh God. Not saying anything. What, he would have said something to the manager or something? Or to the guy, like, how come you <laughs> are yeah, not I think, I don't think saying anything? Uh, yeah. And, uh, and then he found out that the guy was deaf. I'm sorry, but that's not an excuse. If you're going to work at Trader Joe's, you better fucking <laughs> say what's your plans for the day. <laughs> deaf or not, you can still verbalize something. <laughs> so that's his whole story? So it was a good story for your dad. <laughs> Growing. <laughs> <laughs> God, I can't believe my dad actually like wants to be chit chatted. Yeah, it's because Zach, it's, it's because of be people like him and Zach <laughs> that I have to deal with this pointless fucking. Why small can't talk. you say hello? <laughs> what I can stop saying, saying hello. <laughs> I don't want to tell the Trader Joe's cashier what my plans are for the weekend. I don't want to be forced into that situation. <laughs> I don't want to even be put in that situation where I have to say anything about what my plans are for the weekend. Wait, what's the harm in it, though? Because if I, I mean, because oh what I, here's God. what I'm going to say. They go, what are you up to this weekend? I'll say, nothing. Okay? But now I feel like an asshole. Yeah, now you're because, like the God. Because they know you're doing, I'm doing something, but I'm not going to expand anymore. I don't fucking care about them. You know? Okay, Zach, what, do, what would you say? What's the correct answer? What would you say? Good question. Uh, uh, hanging out, chilling. It come with it, whatever you want. You can lie to them. You know. Oh, like, so we gotta go there. We gotta like invite them over. <laughs> well, it, it, well, yeah. I mean, oh, you're not doing anything this weekend. You want to hang out? Oh my like, god! You know, that you would, could. That's so horrible. That would never happen. If someone tried to hang out with me, I'd never come back to that store. <laughs> By the way, a girl could never say that. Well, I, I mean, that's true. Zach, you would never. You would don't say that. Don't even joke but, that you would try to hang out with the cashier. No, no, no. I'm just, you know, I'm being, I'm kidding right now. Good, good, okay. But, you know. Peace and love. Uh, Don't yeah, you yeah. say that. No, I'm kidding. But. What are you up to this weekend? I'm going to my mom, I'm going to my grandma's funeral. Then I got to check out my dad yeah. who's on life support oh, in the hospital. I'm sorry to hear that. Then I'm picking up an eight ball of heroin. I got to shoot up to chase my problems. That sounds like a great time. Well, I hope you have a fantastic day, sir. <laughs> How am I going to have a fantastic win? Did you not just hear what I said? <laughs> Fuck you. Don't ask. <laughs> it's so I mean, annoying. I'm just, just <laughs> Honestly, I'll be honest with you. I, do, I prefer not to go to Trader Joe's because, like, I'll tell you, I, of, I'll... Why Trader Joe's? Why can't it happen at like a Ralph's? Or because something? Trader oh, because Joe's, they Trader encourage Joe's, it. They're like especially it's, talkative. Uh, they encourage their cashiers to chit chat you. You can tell. They yeah. always give you the same bullshit line of questioning. How's your day? How's your weekend? What are you up to? You well, know, I'll tell you what. I, I will, Oh, you know what else they do? They're like, oh, you got this chocolate? Oh, I got to show you. There's another one that I love. Do you remember that? No. Like, they always do that. And so I, no. and I leave end up, the checkout to like. Yes. Go, do they do oh that to God. you? I, no, I'm. I, I don't. They go to always do that to me, goes. and I end up buying whatever they bring me because I want to be nice. Because you feel bad. And and you're like, I don't want that. 
especially one time when I was pregnant. Time? Like, when are you slowing this Remember when I was down? pregnant? Mm. We were buying, I all of a sudden wanted a bunch of chocolate and we bought a bunch of stuff. And mm. she was like, oh my God, I got to go get you some of the stuff that I love. And she went off the cashier, grabbed some stuff, and I bought it even though I didn't even want it. Because I wanted to be nice, but it's like wait, wait, wait. It's so. Much. Did she, before you had the option of saying I'm okay? She just ran off and to get it. Well, what do you yeah, mean to say? No, no, no. I don't care. Like, but no, she I, was like, I, "Oh I'm my okay. god, do you know the pretzel filled thing?" Da, 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 da. And I was like, "No, I don't know." And she's like, "Okay, wait, I gotta go get it." <laughs> Zach, it's not okay. <laughs> it's, it's just people are being. I will like, avoid going to Trader Joe's <laughs> because I know the cashier is gonna chit chat with me, and I'll tell you, I'll go. Sometimes when I'm at Trader Joe's, I'll line up the cashiers and try to go to the one that looks like the most fucking antisocial. <laughs> I get anxious. I get anxious checking out at Trader Joe's because I know these motherfuckers are going to try to talk to me. I've, it's just it's so just divert the conversation, Bill. I'm good. And then they'll it's shut hard. up. It's hard. I'm good. I'm good. Well, I try. And then they, they sometimes still go after me. They go, say, hey, how, how, how are you doing today? Fine. What are you up to this weekend? Nothing. And okay, like, have a great okay, day, take sir. the fucking cue. And then they keep asking me shit. Well, that's on them then. Well, yeah. But... It still happens. <laughs> All right, so when you go to Chick Fil A, they kind of do the same thing. You I know, don't fuck like, around Chick Fil A. You don't fuck with Chick Fil A. I go to Chick Fil A, but nobody chats me up there. I they have some policy where they they have to chat you up. And maybe like, it's the COVID. <laughs> maybe I, it's you, Zach. Yeah, maybe. It's no, 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 you. no, no, no. When they say when you say thank you, they have to say my pleasure. That's not chit chat, okay. bro. Chat, that's whatever. a sign off. That's polite. That's I feel goodbye. like it's in the that same category. That's why they like disengage. <laughs> Zach, I that is like... not the same. My pleasure. What the fuck are you talking? About? I feel like it's in the My same ballpark. It's not. Dude. It doesn't require a response from you. It's a I. No, I'm good with my pleasure. I don't want anyone asking me questions. <laughs> why do they got to get the last word though? Why? Why do you? Why do they have to say my pleasure? Why do you have to leave <laughs> with them fine. saying my pleasure? <laughs> bro, say whatever you want. Just say K. Okay. <laughs> but you're right. My pleasure is kind of like the ultimate end. You can't follow that thing. That you say, you no, can't. it's my pleasure. <laughs> no, the pleasure was all mine. N the pleasure right. was all mine, motherfucker. Right. I wonder if they and have like, a guy for responding to that. It's so awkward because what are you supposed to do? Like, you throw them the peace sign or like... Just you know? drive. <laughs> Just leave. That's awkward. Go How is that awkward? <laughs> They're you're literally the saying goodbye. It, I guarantee you, I, to them, it's like robotic. They they just automatically say it before it's even left their mouth. They're thinking about the next order that they're gonna hand. But they, yeah. they it, it feels awkward to me. Zach. It feels awkward. It's to me. not even when I'm starving or like I I gotta pee real bad. It's not awkward. It just feels awkward. So you feel like you need to reply after my pleasure? What do you say? Like, oh, have a good day. Okay. Zach, your life is just tor is just. <laughs> well, a this lot. is my hell. Because, That's like, I'm help. always, like, like concerned, like, oh, like, if you go into a store, then this is going to happen. Like, oh, I got to stand behind this guy. Or, you know, like, is he going to say something? Is he going to say hello? Like, you know. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, you're, so you're becoming you're one of us. You're confusing me. Down. Yeah, you're not making any sense, Zach. I'm, all I'm saying it's okay to talk to your cashier at your local Trader Joe's. So then, okay, I can't. Okay. I can't. <laughs> I'm done with this. <laughs> I need to exit this conversation. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, Dan. Have a nice day. The pleasure was all mine. Thanks, <laughs> <Dan>. <laughs> all right, let's finish with this professor berating this poor hard of hearing girl. Are you her translator, Abigail? No, oh, my God. Bye -bye. Yeah, he's such a dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's slower on her end because... She she needs to get it translated, and then it goes to her. It goes to her hearing piece. Okay. So her Ms. Salazar, have your counselor speak with me because you've got too much distraction to even understand what's going on. Yes, I do. Oh because my, my god! Is next to me, explaining me everything that he's saying. Okay. So I'm maybe alive, just have not, them teach you the whole class. That makes sense to me. I don't know. I don't understand it. But, uh, wow! I see you laughing and smiling and giggling with somebody else. It doesn't seem to be like. Why should I be in a bad mood? Like, a bad mood? You shouldn't be in a bad mood. You should exactly. pay attention to class. I'm in a, I'm in a good mood. All right, whatever. Okay, this guy's not fit Wait, to be a teacher. Wait, in your terms. Sorry. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Bro, <laughs> damn. He did whatever. whatever. I understand. Somebody caught his ass oh, big time on yeah. Zoom. Have yeah. your counselor talk to me. Period. 
an early the counselor should have, talk to you. Yeah. Have your counselor Except not about what you think. <laughs> He's like, listen, <laughs> have your counselor contact me, period. I'm trying to get fired. Contact them. Contact them. I want to lose my job as soon as possible. Oh, I wouldn't want you arguing with me. Okay. Like, I'm disrespecting you, and you're just like... I love his Zoom background. What's his background? Oh. It's like Early retirement. I'm just significantly disappointed in you. Oh, my God. Dude, somebody got him oh, so good. Wow. On By the way, it's so weird to like berate somebody in front of everyone like yeah. that. I guess that's what school's like, though, man. Thinking back on God, school, I people used school. to catch a lot of shit in class in front of everyone. Bad vibes only. Yeah, school sucks. I still have dreams where I wake up and I'm at school. And I wake up and I'm like, oh, my God. I don't know how I did school. It's literally the worst. It's the worst. School is the oh fuck. If you're in school, just know it's the fucking worst. Like, it's almost like prison. You get out and you cannot believe the freedom you have. Yep. Right. You, you can't believe it. You're, you're no longer <laughs> obligated to this bullshit when you're at home. No, so I'll tell you why busy. school is especially fucked up. I feel like school needs to be reformed. You're at school and then you have to do all this shit when you get home. It's like when you work, you at least have like free time, mm. work time. You you yeah. work all day, you come home, you have free time. Right. You can't balance. It's just the homework thing. It can be so overwhelming. Also, the teachers. I mean, for example, this guy. That, this teacher in this video gives me flashbacks to teachers that I used to have. Yeah. Just, it, oh, me yeah. too. That was my problem with school. It's like if my teacher is a dumbass, mm. how am I going to sit here and, you know, take everything seriously? Right. <laughs> You know, I don't know even that there's, like, correlation between shitloads of homework and having a better ed ed education. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just, you're already at school for, what, five, six, seven hours a day. I mean, you got to have a fucking life, too. Even a kid needs to have a life. Yeah. And then when you start getting into AP classes, like I did, because I wanted to get into a good college, you really don't have a choice. The amount of homework you have is just, it's... It's not even. That's why you just shouldn't do that. Realistic. Yeah, just don't do it. That's what I did. You didn't. I never fucking did it. What? Did you go to college? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. My parents would be so on me. They wouldn't let me do anything. I had to do all the homework, study to all the tests. Yeah, I mean, were were your parents pissed that you weren't doing your homework? Yeah. But I was just, I wasn't a good student. I mean, I, I buckled down the last couple of years of high school because I was, like, on track to not graduate. And yeah, that's like, scary. I, I don't you don't want to do, do that. that, yeah. But, um, yeah, I fucking hated school. I, I hated school. Me too. I was just not about it. I just... Interesting. You're a smart guy. Eh. So... Eh. <laughs> you're, you're smart. smart. You're very smart. Yeah. I just didn't like Dan school. Dan is a great guy. You're a great guy. We all love I you. I like some aspects of school, you know. I, I enjoyed some classes, but when it came to... If, if I wasn't interested in the subject, there was no convincing me to try. I was just... Lunch was fun. <laughs> yeah. Lunch was off. I like the socializing aspect of school. That's true. Yeah. School, just, just know that if you're in school and you hate it... Some people like school, and God bless them, you know. That's the thing. School is for some people. I really, truly think that the amount of homework and all this bullshit needs to be re-examined. Because it's not a way to live your life. It's just not. Mm -hmm. uh, Ethan, uh, James uh, made a statement. Oh, really? he did already? In the Discord. It's in the Discord. So wow, that was fast. He must be scared. Story then? You know we got to <laughs> oh, talk no! about it. So let's oh, read his no! statement first. He already put this out. Damn, he's scared as shit, bruh. There's a video going around about me on TikTok and Twitter of a guy calling me a G word, not going to say it. A, G let's say, when you have good personal hygiene, what is it called? Oh, uh, yeah. When you have good personal hygiene, when you need to take your dog to get their hair cut, what is it called? Right, exactly, G word. And I want to address it right away. The accusations is completely false. Last week I came across someone on my Insta Explore page, saw he followed me and added him on Snapchat. First of all, already, Why? already <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> you literally are doing this all the time. Yeah. I'm out. You can't do that. Disgusting. Sister snatched. The next morning I woke up to several snaps from this person being excited. I added him saying he loved me and also he sent 
lewd photos of himself in the shower. I asked how old he was right away, and he told me he was 18, so I started following back. <laughs> in the excitement of meeting someone, I thought it would be potentially great. I didn't ask for a copy of his ID. Now it's clear. So, okay, first of all, back up. Okay, hold on, I'll keep reading. I'm going to keep reading. Now it's clear, based on the video he uploaded, he was taking photos of me with another device and had an ulterior motive. I'm sorry, you're the one that followed him, dipshit. So how are you going to accuse him of having an ulterior motive when you literally did the action of following him? Wow. Man. What, is he just sitting there waiting for James Charles to follow him <laughs> randomly? Like, dude, you're a huge celebrity. There's a billion people out there. You just, yeah. Fuck this guy, dude. <laughs> Yeah, really sad. Ulterior, ulterior motives. Later in the day, he said a few things that made me question the, vali the validity of his age. And when I asked him to confirm his age once again, he admitted to being 16. So, you, so right now he's admitting to exchanging nudes with a 16-year-old. Oops. Now, uh, once again, it is not the 16-year-old. Yes, he said flirting back. So. No, he said lewds, sharing lewds, flirting back. The guy showed that he sent him those mm. photos. So right away, he's admitting that he committed a crime. It is not that kid's responsibility for <laughs> you to know his age. It's you. That's why you don't do these things. He's yeah. right here admitting to committing a crime. Right here. Committed a crime, exchanges photos with a 16-year-old. Done. The thing is that these allegations already came about James. You would think he would learn a thing or two. A bunch of times. Yeah, a bunch of times. Like, if this was the first time it happened to you, maybe I would understand, but this already happened. So... He's go he continues, I told him I was really uncomfortable and apologized for flirting, but insisted on continually talking, saying it could be our little secret. He's a fan of mine and would never tell anyone. I told him I wasn't okay with this. He started getting upset, and at this point, I unfriended him. We haven't spoken since. I'm not victim-blaming or victimizing myself either, simply sharing what happened. Okay, good. You've committed a crime. You would just admit it. And what happened was not okay. After false allegations like this, it's not a false allegation. You literally just <laughs> admit to committing a crime. After false allegations like this in the past, I would never knowingly engage with anyone underage. Knowingly? I mean, what the fuck, bro? What do you mean yeah. knowingly? What do you mean knowingly? What do you mean knowingly? There's, that's not an excuse, bro. He admitted he didn't ask for an ID or anything, so what do you mean knowingly? Yeah. I would never knowingly engage. You know in the back of your mind you're like, this guy might not. This fucking bullshit. You're a piece of shit, bro. Stop that's giving true. this guy a pass. Fuck you. He says, I would never knowingly engage with anyone underage and put my life online for a few Snapchats. Well, you did do that. Because of a situation like this, instead of taking someone's word for it, I will now ask to see the ID or passport of every guy I have a conversation with. Fuck you. So now you learned that? I, I have thought... to respond to this tweet. Not now. This is it's going to be really quick. Moved. No, it's not. <laughs> because I tweeted, I retweeted the original guys. Has James Charles blocked me yet? No. <clears throat> He's about to. Admitting to, <laughs> to admitting to um, committing a crime. Thank you, Zach. Admitting <laughs> to com <laughs> <laughs> admitting to committing. Fuck! I can't. Fuck. I really don't like when you tweet on the show exactly because of that. Like admitting to committing a crime. <laughs> the Fresh Ex Prince of Dead Air. Changing nudes. People love this. Can you not? Hey, Twitter nudes world, this is yours truly. A I don't know if he said that he sent nudes back. He's, yes, he did. He said he was flirting back. Flirting back. He didn't say he sent okay, nudes. Okay, correct the record, bitch. <laughs> the guy, the 16-year-old showed them. You didn't say bitch to me. No, not you. I was okay. talking to Charles James Charles. Okay. I didn't tell you that. No, hey, Twitter know. world, this is yours truly. Oh, yeah, I'm mean, just making sure. Calm down, I wouldn't have to do that. <laughs> Jesus, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> no, the it's the leather jacket. started yeah. the story by showing <laughs> pictures of James, Hila. All blurred out. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So he did. Okay. Yeah. Admitting to committing a crime, exchanging his <laughs> trip at a year old. Stop giving a pass. You guys got any plans this weekend? 
I don't think the world. world is yours. You shut truly. the fuck up with the chit chat, man. Come on. <laughs> the small Stop talk. giving it past to this creepy <laughs> yeah, ask predator. Me what I'm doing. <laughs> fuck you, AB. <baby. laughs> I said, okay, here it is. Admitting he admitting to committing a crime, exchanging nudes with a 16 year old. With a 16 year, I wrote 16 year old, 16 year old. I wrote it twice. God, Bye. can you not tweet during the show? <laughs> This is a serious Don't tweet? Me, Admitting to committing a crime, exchanging nudes with a 16-year-old. Stop giving a pass to this predator. Tweet. Oh, God. Fuck you, James. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was really good, Dan. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> bro, what is with the amount of people doing this? Like, bro, this is happening so much. Yo, even even if you don't care about respecting other people and doing the right thing, at least have enough in like preserving your own reputation and career, not to be so fucking reckless and dumb. Like e even if you are, let's say, an uncaring person, you should still know how dangerous this is for you. But that's like obviously I can't even begin. Oh, no, to this talk is challenging. About it. Like, Hello. You're already in such a lucky position. You have all these followers. Like the least you can do is start being more responsible. Just go meet someone on tw Tinder. Why do you have to? Or go out to a club. Why do you have to meet people like on Snap? Why do you have to meet people on Instagram DMs? That's like, just by not creeping on their social media profile, yeah. going out of your way to add them because yeah. you know that they're a fan. They, of they you, follow you and, and, and then the exchanging whole thing. nudes with them. What are you doing? Just don't do that. And I love how he Dan goes. Charles, he's like, he I love. I love how he goes. Oh, he had ulterior motives. <laughs> you followed him! If anything, James had. You're there, most you made contact, dude. I can't, bro. I cannot Boy do it. <laughs> it reminds me of the Sin Jared shit, where it's like... Oh, oh, yeah. You know, it's not my responsibility, even though I created the scenario for this to happen. Sin yeah. Jared. <laughs> Honestly, Girl. Pyro did the same shit. He says he ended up flirt. Well, actually, it wasn't as bad because he wasn't exchanging nudes, but he was flirting with a six-year-old that he thought was older. But yeah. in Pyro's defense, he wasn't. It was there was no photos shared or anything, so it's not as bad. It was just like text, role-playing, flirting stuff. But it's your responsibility to fucking know you're not talking to a child, which is the reason you shouldn't be doing this. Just don't go there. Yeah. Talk to me, baby. Jesus Christ. Sure. Yes, 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 yes. Let me see the comments. Are people, people supporting are him or being like, shitty. go off, James. Nobody should make up lies like this. <laughs> What's the lie? The made up part. Oh, here's another one. Y'all trying to cancel everyone nowadays. I don't get why you think it's a good use of your time. Stop trying to cancel people. Okay, well, your, your idol is literally a predator. Like, he's done yeah. this like five times this month. Oh my god, this is the tea. This way too much word, girl, but <laughs> this person. That's way too much words, girl, but all I gotta say is Jeffrey was right. Tati is ice queen. What? Are you even speaking fucking English? Like, cause this girl must be like eight years old. Tati is ice queen. Purr, has y'all mad mad. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> okay, so somebody said, this is funny. I think they're trying to support him, but actually they're exposing him. They say, isn't this the third time this has happened, bestie? <laughs> Sad face? Hmm, might be a pattern. Okay, right, cool. That's one of my favorite memes. Ever. This copy pasta. <laughs> the fact I ain't reading that. I'm yeah. happy for you though, or sorry that happened. <laughs> what? It's just like too long. Didn't read, you know. Um, the fact that he is even saying himself, he saw this guy is following him, then he went after him Done. to follow him. And it's story. like, okay, you are abusing your fans. Predator, bro. James is a predator, I actually think so. Oh, maybe I can't say predator. That is so true. Maybe like a tiger. God, this episode is so fucked. I just wanted to make an episode that wouldn't go yellow. Now here we are fucking again. James saw to go and be a predator. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't he just take the week off from being a predator? <laughs> maybe oh, we just that. need to not worry about getting demonetized. Well, I'm fucked anyway. Yeah. Be nice to make a man, whatever. After dark, baby, it's fast and Subscribe, members. Thank you, members. We love our members. Something is about to bust. James Charles is a predator. Quote me on that. <laughs> yeah, really sad. 
Something is about to bust. Mm. Literally every comment is supportive. It's pretty wild. Yes, I love how James can actually explain the situation of putting his feelings in it. Sorry? Okay, but where's your proof? They shared proof, therefore I'm believing the victim. Oh! Shout out to Let's Violet. Get oh no! Right. Shout out to Violet. She's yeah. right. Good point. Oh no! Thank you for addressing oh, this. No! Here's a good one. Thank you for addressing the situation. I knew they were a clout chaser from the beginning. 500 likes. That's what that that is what they always say about any victim that comes. I need that forward. clout. Meanwhile, these are the same clout woke chaser. people, right? The same woke people that go, "Don't blame the victim." You know they are. Oh, he's trending. Wow. Oh shit, okay. I'm gonna start, I might really start selling the clout pill. <laughs> okay, wow, this is trending. Hang on a sec. Okay, so this story, the original one, which I retweeted, um, that I was talking about, is 30,000 likes in two hours. It? Why are you so active on Twitter? Let's get glam. Because it's serious. Okay. I was like, this is actually really bad. I, I watched just, it. I you, didn't even know you retweeted. Well, I usually don't retweet things. Like, I'm very, I'm very, uh, very careful with my retweets, right? But when I watched this, I was like, dude, this is so bad. And especially mm -hmm. considering James Charles has been accused of this so many times. Yeah. And now also, this guy's is the worst I've ever seen because he has so many pictures and videos and everything. It's, it's literally like it's not trusting him. He, he has it all. Yeah. Sister. <sighs> Let's see. Sister. 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 Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how these guys keep getting away. What's that one they can't keep getting away with it? Can you play that, please, Zach? I don't know. I don't know if we have that pulled. The, Who says the Breaking that? Bad clip? Is that what you're talking about? What oh, are you talking about? Oh, was that Breaking Bad? I always wonder what was the origin of that. Yeah, that's from Breaking Bad. He can't keep getting away with it! Uh, Jesse. Yeah. Oh, you gotta grab that. Okay. That's a good one. I just saw this teacher and I was like... Get triggered. Yeah. You had really bad... You know, the, the problem with schools is like... In Israel and also in our... Yeah, my school was very poor. They, Look, they looked just, like shit. And... Um, mine too. And every, everything was basically shit. <laughs> yeah. Um... It, it just it doesn't appeal to high quality people because the it just doesn't compensate enough. I mean. Oh, did I tell the story about how why I didn't study physics? I, I know I think I told physics? you, but I don't know if I told it on the. You mean like in podcast. high school? Yeah. Okay, go. Why ahead. I didn't take the class? I don't remember. I found it really interesting. I really wanted. You're good at math. To go into physics class, I did like math yeah. and um, and, and so I took a couple of classes like when at the beginning of the year. And the teacher was Russian, and, like, she barely spoke Hebrew, and no one could understand anything. <laughs> and physics, of all things, like, pretty complicated. No one stuff. could understand anything. Really? Yeah. What did you, did anyone get grades? Like, how were they graded? I don't know. A bunch of people just didn't continue with the class, and some stayed. They literally, so I, I just didn't stay in the class. I was like, I can't understand anything. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, you know, if you think schools are bad in here in America, the ones in Israel are even worse. Teachers in Israel make like $20,000 a year. Mm -hmm. They make like almost minimum wage. Mm -hmm. So it, it basically appeals to rock bottom people. And in America, it's not that much better. I mean, and it's no hate to Russians at all. I love Russians in Israel. We, there's a lot of them because she, didn't speak, she just didn't speak your language. There's been, yeah, there's been a lot of um, immigration from Russia to Israel. And it's just like a phenomenon that it's ultimately it's just a problem of budget you know mm -hmm. it's not that i had a problem with the teacher it's just like i really couldn't understand anything i don't understand how education is not more important here like you want to know my conspiracy theory no <laughs> no yeah i do i do okay you so first of all dan you might know so correct me if i'm wrong but i'm almost certain this is true as People become better educated, people who have gone to college, etc. The vast majority of those with a high and good education become Democrats or liberals. Is that right, Dan? Uh, the voting demo 
demographics in the United States do lean that way, yes. So I do think that conservatives have a vested interest in keeping people uneducated and keeping schools shit. Mm -hmm. Because less educated, I'm just, this is like, I'm, I swear to God, I'm not trying to pigeonhole. The, the, that, that, that's those true. We want our freedom for the world. <laughs> I should point out that, that that trend that you're talking about, though, is more about college than um, grade school. It's about, okay, but, it's about but college it, education versus But it all, it all leads to college, school. right? Like, if you have a shitty... If you have shitty schools and everything, you don't end up going to college. And that's another reason why they don't want free college, too. Mm. If you have free college, people go and they become highly educated. And I don't, I'm not saying that education leads to liberalism, okay? I'm just saying whatever happens in those schools, I'm not trying to draw conclusions here. I don't know. But whatever happens in universities tends to lead people down a road of liberalism and, and being more towards the Democratic Party. So I do think Republicans have a vested interest in keeping people less educated. I really do. I don't know about it because I feel like it could just be like negligent and just like any big body like the government there's someone there's just like so much negligence. Bro, they know dude, these guys know what they're doing. They know that the like yeah. the red belt, all these red states, they're like on average way less educated than the big cities. California has one of the worst public school systems in the country, though. So it's really... Is that true? Yes. Based on what? Right. How would you explain that? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. I didn't... Know. Wait. California has to... Based yeah, on it, what? What are we paying all these taxes for? For people who are... The school system in California. Is are so you far. just saying that from your experience or are you saying that from no, data? I mean, no. No. In the rankings, California is always... By the way, like no, the everyone's calling 10. me a libtard and saying I'm white, liberal, trash, and all that. I'm just telling you, I'm just expressing what I've noticed, okay? People you want you that? dumb. I swear to God, the government people, there's people in government that want you fucking not getting an education. People are saying you are wrong. Stop. Some people say you're right. Some people say you're wrong. So. <laughs> there you go. It's typical. It's an interesting thought, but Remember I really... Remember when Donald Trump, he goes, I love the uneducated. I love the uneducated. Because uneducated people in general lean conservative. It's just a fact. It's not a statement of the people. It's just a fact. Somebody look that up. Fact check me. I Come just on, looked, you just said people, Ca California's uh, K through 12 education ranks 37th in the country. Why? So Ouch, California, you fucking dumbasses. It's pretty bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it so bad? We love you. You're God very damn it, special. California. I pay so much. A lot of it is because the budgets for the schools were gutted in the late 70s by uh, Governor Ronald Reagan. Prop 13. That was a long time ago. We haven't got our shit together since then? Nope. What's Prop 13? That was the big property tax bill that there, it, there was, I forget, there was some ballot measure about it this year, or uh, last year even, to try and uh, overturn it or something. Basically, your property tax gets locked in at the rate in the year in which you buy it, and it never goes up. It can never change or be reassessed. That didn't used to be the case. And most public education in California is paid for by property tax. And so when they did that, all of the budgets tanked. Actually, okay, whatever. Now we're getting to like. Some I weird. think you're getting into conspiracy theory. I just give my opinion. Look, I could be. I am a. I am a libtard. You're pointing to a it's trend fine. that I'm exists. I'm a postal libtard, but it's true. I just want to tell you that what you're suggesting is that they're way more organized than they really are, the in my opinion. I don't think so because that, that would be like an organized effort to keep people stupid. I actually, really don't think that. I actually do think they're that organized because no. you should see what they do with gerrymandering. Those motherfuckers are scientists. They literally, it's part of their platform to prevent people from voting, to make voting as hard as possible, and to gerrymander like a fucking, like, they're Tetris grandmasters. Like, they are definitely, and, you know, the Republican Party is losing ground, so they have to more and more result to, um, to tactics like gerrymandering and voter suppression. Mm-hmm. That's just you can't keep getting away me. with it. God, I love it. But listen, I'm a libtard. You guys say whatever the fuck you want. I'm just saying, give my opinion. I'm a coastal lead. I'm a rich lib fucking douche. Fucking Don't take it from me. Just saying. Open your eyes, people. The truth is out there. People. <laughs> wake up. All wake Jews. up, Joe Biden. Wake up. Wake up. Joe Biden. Wake uh, up. All Jews. All Jews. <laughs> Lots of people think you're right. So, so why is it you, that you think the poor... Let me ask you this. 
Why is it that you think the poor states almost always, like without even consideration, always go Republican? Always. Red, red, always, always. The Boy, poor Cubs. states with the poor infrastructure, the less money, always goes red. Always. Boy, even though Democrats are usually in favor of, of the kinds of regulations and changes that would most benefit them. You know? Part of it's religion. They, they, somehow the Republicans no, tapped into religion. Like, if you don't vote Republican, then you're, like, voting for the devil or something. Yeah, it's, I mean... But like, they're in deep, man. They got to figure it out. I'm telling you. They, they are slick. They know what they're doing. Religion, their lifestyle. Joe Biden. Trump. Trump. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'll get off this. Nobody cares. <laughs> you bad boy, Trump. You bad boy, Trump. But you know what's sad you bad boy, is, is Trump. these motherfuckers, you know what one of their tactics is? You know what one of the, their tactics is? To, no. What is it? It's to make it like, like you are like a social justice warrior or something or a libtard for talking about these things. They discourage conversation. You know what I mean? It's like a whole vibe of like, oh, here we go again. We can't talk about this. Nobody cares. Oh, and how about this one? Both sides are the same. Both sides are the same. All politicians are trash. It, the their their one of their tactics is to dissuade conversation. They don't want you to fucking think about it. They want you to write off both parties as just the same. Mm -hmm. Do something for you, Joe Biden. <laughs> so who's ready to recount? Okay. <laughs> anyway, you guys want me to keep going or not? Mm, no, Daddy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my soapbox? Daddy? <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm constantly about how do you get poor, white, working class people to vote against their own interests year and year and year and year again? I uh, don't know. That's what they do. The Democrats want to expand social benefits, increase the minimum wage, give health, guaranteed health care. These are the types of things that benefit Democrats poor don't want to give guaranteed health care. Well, if there's anyone that wants to give guaranteed health care, Dan, they're Democrats. It's, that's, I guess, a more You know what I'm saying? Statement. Like, sure. if, any, if anyone's in that place... I mean, Obama's trying to fucking do something. I mean, he would get a lot more done if they... Obama! Were... Obama! I tell you, that Obama you ain't born. Obama? One of those... Obama. And then, who's the party of conspiracy theories? Because truth... Yeah! It, that's the whole point. Okay. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I don't want to get taxed. No. I'll tell you what. Once you start taxing those billionaires, <laughs> it's just one step away from taxing me. Okay. I ain't paying. Okay. I'm telling they you my... Freedom for the world. <laughs> that Papa John made a trillion dollars selling pizza. They're going to take, ah! take some money from him. It's just... That ain't right. That's his money. <laughs> <laughs> Those cock brothers tap that oil. It's their money. The cock brothers. The cock brothers. <laughs> now it don't it don't matter that I have to make a GoFundMe because my because my mama got cancer and I can't pay for it. Those <laughs> cock brothers deserve every penny. <laughs> and I'm not saying take their money again. I'm just ex <clears throat> take their money. Fill that bag up! <laughs> Fill that bag up! I'm just saying that there are forces in this country that want you dumb and poor and confused. Alright. Fill that bag up! They got people so fucking confused, they don't know their ass from a hole in the wall. They don't know what the fuck Fill COVID is. They don't right know what the fuck... Now. They don't... People don't even understand progressive tax rates. They think... Taxing the Koch brothers. By the way, the... Um, is going to increase their tax. Do you know what progressive tax rate is? Your ass doesn't get taxed. It's just the rich fucks. I'll pay more taxes. I don't give a shit. But I'm not even... I'm rich, but I'm not Koch brother rich. You know what I mean? I'm not Elon Musk. Jeff Bezos rich. Go ahead, Elon. Whatever. I'm not done. I'll go on and on. <laughs> they call them dumb. I was just going to say uh, that you just reminded me of something my sister told me in Israel. They're trying to get everyone to vaccine because uh, they got the vaccines. And people, they got the same like conspiracy theory that they're just, they're just doing the testing on us and we're in their lab. 
so people don't want to do it and um she told me some people will go as far as like schedule an appointment and then not show up so that they waste the vaccine oh my god that should be prison yeah how can you prove COVID-19? it though yeah i mean listen People don't, uh, what can you do? I mean, the collapse of society is, is upon us when people trust Facebook posts more than, than, yeah, than, than scientists. Scienti- the scientific community. Yeah. But that's what they, when you're so fucking I mean, you have confused, doctors telling you they think it's actually a really good vaccine. They're really happy with it. Forget that. There's, so, they've, been, they've been doing laboratory tests on millions of people across tons of countries in controlled conditions, as good as any other vaccine we've done. By the way, when you have people that fucking confused about something that's so verifiably, you know, inarguably true, you can convince them of any fucking stupid thing. Mm -hmm. They call them dumps. You know? (laughs) So people still think Trump won the election. You know, it's like that's how it works. If you can convince people of, of... Ethan? Whoa. (laughs) <laughs> that freaked me out. <laughs> Wait, why did he say Ethan? What was that? Zach's, Ethan? Zach's got one for like everybody on the crew. That's that what? scared me. I was Is like, that new? Up. Did we always have that? I didn't know. I don't know if we've ever used the Ethan one. <laughs> he uses like, the one of him saying, "Thank you, Dan." Thank you. Yeah, that one we love. There's an Ian one too, right, Zach? <laughs> there is an Ian one. Yeah. Uh, Cool. Yeah, and you know. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, and you know, like. Ian, please stand up. <laughs> go ahead, Dan. Stand up. Ian. Ian, Ian stand up. The Ian, president's talking yeah, to you. D- Dan, stand up. <laughs> Dan, 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 stand up. The president Dan. demands it of you. Ian. <laughs> you know. All right, I'm up. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, sir. How is the jungle coming together? I'm really curious what's going on there. I like the monkey on the lamp you got there. Mm. Jung- the jungle's been at a bit Wait, of a what? standstill. Oh, that. Yeah. By the way, I encourage you guys to go check out our episode from yesterday. We put on this high fashion show that was one of the best segments we've done in a long time. I mean, the amount of work and effort these guys put into making that great is staggering and amazing. Do it after this, mm-hmm. though. Don't, don't close mm-hmm. this. Obviously. Obviously. Mm-hmm. It, what was the name of that um, that marketing company that, like, basically hacked Facebook for data and the last election something. Oh, jeez. What the fuck were they called? Uh, I don't remember. God. Something Republica, something. No. Anyway, you guys all, I'm sure you guys, most of you guys heard about this story. Why are we talking about this now? Cambridge Analytica. Cambridge yeah, Cambridge Analytica. Analytica. Yeah. They literally hacked into fucking Facebook to campaign for Trump and they ran fake Fucking ads, lies, and fake ads to confuse people. That is their fucking strategy. They want you confused. Okay. They want you fucking dumb. They want you angry at shit that literally never even happened. Right. I would call that uh, right. false advertising. Right. Just saying, it's important because right. our society right. is gonna. We're literally. When you can't distinguish fact from fucking fiction on something so as important as a vaccine, we're doomed. Okay. Next story. <laughs> Thank you. You bad boy, Next. Trump. Bad boy. Bad boy, Trump. Thank you. Oh, and God forbid I try to talk about something that's important to me without being a social justice warrior. That's what they want Ethan. you to think. No. <laughs> All right, Ethan. I'm on. Oh, Jesus, it scares me. Okay. Um, the Sia movie. That's uh, the Sia movie, man. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. You guys heard about the Sia movie? <laughs> so Sia, the art, the musician, made a film about a girl with a younger sister who has autism. But it's getting widely criticized for depicting the autistic sister as as a, a simple Jack type of character from Tropic Thunder. You remember that? <laughs> He portrayed like a really offensive, over-the-top portrayal of somebody with a mental uh, disability. And it currently has an 11 on Rotten Tomatoes. 11 out of 100? Yeah, 11%. Yes. People said awful and offensive, I heard one of the critics say. It's just plain oh awful God. and offensive. 
There's what one point. Nightmare. One for point. Her. Yeah, I know. What, and she apparently she spent like five years on it. Did the whole soundtrack. She really thought she was doing something good. Yeah. Oh no. I, so I I watched the trailer and I thought it. I was like, this could be okay. But there's a few shots where the with the autistic sister and you can tell like oh. Like, it reminds me of the brother from Something About Mary. Like, she's literally doing an impression of that. <laughs> yeah, let me find the scenes of... Oh, God. I'm just going to mute it. Here's, here's the sister, look, with the headphones. She's literally doing this. Mm. And she's supposed to be what? Autistic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's not... I mean, I'm sh no. There's people with like really severe autism that obviously is really debilitating. But yeah, but a I don't know anything one with autistic. So, but everyone who's like an autistic advocate said this is like super offensive. Well, I watched. We watched the Finding Love. Show. Here she is. Here she is. She's walking like love on the spectrum. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah, they're not like this. Yeah, they're not like this at all. And those people actually have, in some cases, really severe autism. Mm -hmm. Here she is walking literally like the brother from Something About Mary. And I'm gonna find a clip. Look at her. Yeah. Here, let me find something about Mary Brother. And we should say, one, a big part of the criticism is that the actress portraying this character is not autistic. And uh -huh. right. like, there's lots of Look. autistic people who could have... Uh... Right. <laughs> this is fun. You even got the headphones. Oh yeah, my exactly. God. Hi, Ted. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. So, and then there's another thing which she did. So at one point in the film, and again, I'm not familiar with any of this. So I'm just reading. Apparently, um, there used to be this thing called prone restraint that people did when people were having autistic outbreaks. Where it's when you lay on them. Here, maybe I can show a picture of it. There's a, there's actually, I put in a clip from the movie of that scene of it happening. I don't know if I can. Can I show it? Is it like really violent? Um... No, it's not really violent. I, and I think I'll just show a still of it. Sure. Oh, this is it? Okay, yeah. Okay, so so here it is. Hilo. So she's having a uh, episode. And apparently, so they go, oh, I know what to do. I'm going to restrain her. So she lays on top of her and holds her down, basically. Oh, that was really short. So anyway, it turns out that what she did is actually super dangerous and has led to uh, deaths and serious injury and is not recommended, like it's highly unrecommended. Wait, what? The prone restraint. When somebody's having uh. an episode uh, to just grab them and restrain them like... A... How did they not get all this stuff That's the thing. Straight. She spent five years making yeah. this movie and supposedly deeply researching it and there's just yeah. all this shit in it that's like... Seems like they didn't really do any research at all. Weird. But there's like really big actors in it, which is kind of more confounding. Um, one of the actors from Hamilton, by the way. But it's like a musical, and anyway, she has spent five years making this. Apparently, <laughs> God. Um, the movie so got brutal. nominated for two Golden Globes. Apparently, the 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 Golden Globes uh, sent those nominations before the reviewers had a chance to see it. <laughs> which just goes to show what bullshit it is. Golden Gloves are trash. She, in response, deleted her Twitter in shame. So, I feel, I do find, feel bad for her because she puts so much time into it. It's pretty brutal. And she Spent just... half a decade she, making something. I mean, something I have a just, feeling that, you know, her intention must have been oh, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. But I don't know how did they miss so bad. That's, I kind of almost don't blame her. I feel like somebody, well... I feel like somebody with some level of expertise should have been involved in the making of that film. But it is being presented as her project, right? Like, that's what I keep hearing. I, uh, yeah. She directed it, she wrote it, she made the I music for it. I expect a studio it's, it's her, or there's an executive sort of producer or somebody with experience that's like, we're making a vi we were making a movie about autism. Let's make sure that it's accurate. Yeah. Yay. So, shout out to Sia and her family. <laughs> Man. Let me check on the James Charles situation. He can't keep getting away with it. He's literally never going to stop messaging young boys. James Charles. He can't keep getting away with it! Um, he will never stop. 
I do wonder in this case, like, why they didn't look for an autistic person to play the role, because after watching Love on the Spectrum, I just feel like it was such, a good, it was such a good insight into what... This, this girl that who would plays have been that really character is, yeah. is her muse. This is the girl, if you remember from the, uh, all of her music videos, uh, the same... Actress oh, that was the little girl who That's was dancing. Yes. Oh. Uh, she was on that show Dance Mom. She, she uh, but like, uh, didn't we establish long ago that like having somebody who, like, you can't go full in? The, sorry if this is offensive, but in the words of Tropic Thunder, you can't go full retard. <laughs> like, you can't. You have. To, you can't do that anymore. Like, that's not okay. Then again, I'm, those, that's offensive language. That's what Tropic Thunder said <laughs> about the Simple Jack characters. Is what they're accusing her of doing. Like you have to get somebody who understands the situation to play it. Right. Right. Mm, right. 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 Mm. Man, it, did you want to talk about um, Trisha, or are you saving it for Monday? Oh, what what was the issue with Trisha? The port night thing. Oh, the pork boy. Pork boys. Oh, fuck that guy. He's such a douche. I knew Pork Boy was a douche. Pork Boy. Yeah, I'd love to talk about it. I want to talk about it on Monday, too, but... Where's the Pork Boy? I have some I shit here. I saw in the chat that she posted a video Fortnite. about it. Oh, she did? Good. Fuck Pork Boy. Here, let's watch her Fortnite. video, then. Fortnite. Give my girl Trisha. Pork Night. <laughs> pork Night. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what Trisha had to say, because she'll probably... Oh, thank you, Ian. Barstool um, pirating my you. nudes. I don't think I love that. That's her takeaway. Like that wasn't what I thought. Like her, she originally responded and she, and she was like, "Excuse me, you owe me money for everybody who watched it." And I was like, "I'm actually just offended." That's funny. She's just funny, and of course, she's wearing all decked out in Adam Sandler gear. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> so, I just got a tweet. From God, she has the best YouTube. She has the best content in the game. <laughs> I cannot. I just can't, dude. She has the best content. Wow, thank you. So what the hell are you? Couldn't okay. you like set the camera up before you started recording? You know, but only Trisha could pull it off. Like set it up and then hit record. Yeah. Well, it's always got to be like this. I guess it's part of the. It is charm. Part of the immersion. I agree. I would never think to do that, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. Trash. <laughs> Barstool Sport Sports, Barstool Media, is founded by um, Pork Dave Boy. Portnoy, who um. How long is this? Said that Eight minutes. That's pretty short for. Her. Fortnite. Jokes are funny. I never condone rape, but if you're a size six and you're wearing skinny jeans, oh, we can't show this. You kind of. Wait, what uh, are we watching? I can't say the R word. I, 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 anyway, look. G uh, give me the original video. Somebody, somebody, like. No, this is yeah, Trisha. Uh, I want to. You talk mean about what her. happened? Yes. The tweet. Here it is. <laughs> so they pull up her OnlyFans and he films everyone laughing and being disgusted and gagging and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, don't throw up on me! Why is he gagging? And to be fair, I've done this to her nudes. Okay. That being said, it doesn't make much sense that they would go out of their specific way to post. Like, that's weird, right? And I mean, she was just on their podcast. She was really nice to go on their podcast, yeah. and she got them a ton of views. And they were mean to her on the podcast. And now they're just gonna like post themselves gagging and being all grossed out by her nudes. I mean, the main thing: no one is wearing a mask. What oh is this my office? god! In all of Barstool Sports what office, what is this? These office? people are huddled around maskless. Like, trust me. You all you fucking thought I was that. playing when I said Dave Portnoy's a douche? He's a fucking dangerous douchebag. Like, this is your office culture? You can't do that. You just can't. <laughs> Has anyone actually died from Corona? Yeah, Good question, it's... Trish. I'm sure she'll have a lot to say about it on Monday, but... Like, I mean, again, I've made fun of her nudes being gross or whatever, not my, not my cup of tea, but I feel like that... We have a rapport. Where it kind of sounds different, though, because from what I understand, they were just watching her home tour naked. naked. Yeah. Which is like... And gagging. I can't imagine what would make you gag, but okay. I haven't seen it, so whatever. 
Well, why would they Still just post gross. it out of the yeah, blue? Yeah, like, why would you post it? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's icky, gross, and no masks. Girls, yeah, what the fuck? And, like, what the fuck? Is, and then they erased it, by the way. But how is it? How did she make it about pirating my news? Like, that's the least troubling thing about this video. <laughs> is that they pirated it. How did she even know they pirated it? Well, because one person is showing it to the office. Oh, she's, the person individually. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's <laughs> exactly. They all. She wouldn't have a problem. With it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She just wants licenses from everyone involved. Okay. Is it AB because he's an idiot? <laughs> okay, we're not even talking about AB Trish. I get it though. This is Trish's net worth. I'm interesting. Four million. Hmm. What are you looking at that? Stuff? It just auto completed it. I don't know what she's worth. It's just Google. <sighs> That stuff is not even accurate. No, I know. Anyways, whatever. It was the f top finished question. Trisha Trish Paytas net worth. Ian sent me something. Uh oh. Oh, ignore that. Wrong link. Wrong link. Okay. Uh, oh. Someone posted on the subreddit that they DM'd Lil Tracy <laughs> and asked oh. him if he wants to call in, and he said, I want to. Oh! He does. Oh, is he available right now? Lil Trace. We can, we can try. We can Get try. Lil Tracy on the yes. fucking phone. Yo, he's going to be so mad. We have to be careful. Why? It might be risky live. Oh, you think so? Yeah. He might be a little loose cannon saying a lot of obscenities yeah. and stuff. Yeah, might not be the best. But isn't that exciting to hear what yeah. he has to say live? <laughs> Show me the DM of the... Of the... Risk a strike from crazy shit. I don't want to risk a strike, for <laughs> sure. I don't believe that he really doesn't like us. I think it's a gag. Yeah, someone said, H3 said they want your f want you to be your friend and want you to call into their show. They're on stream right now. He says, I want to call in. I feel like it's only fun if it's live. If it's pre-recorded, mm -hmm. then who cares? Yeah. Can you have a bleep button where you can... It, we don't have a kill switch or something? <laughs> Damn it. It's an exciting thought, though. But you could mute. You could just mute the podcast, I guess. Only, only yeah. after the fact, though. Like, yeah, I don't think there's any way to prevent. I'm just afraid really? he's going to come out with, like, N-bombs. Wait, even live right now, you can't mute the whole... Like, if I'm talking, you can't mute me? Well, I can, but I can't anticipate that you're suddenly... Yeah, if he says something... Oh, yeah, something, it would be in reaction. Yeah, it wouldn't be immediate. It's too late, though. That's what I'm saying. At that point, it's too late. It goes out. Well, if we can get him on, then I let's do it. I don't think he's such a loose cannon. I don't. If, if if we can get him on, Ian, then then I'll take the call. <laughs> I'll take the call. Are you working on it, Ian? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about Lil Tracy other than that he hates us. <laughs> <laughs> what is there anything I should know about Lil Tracy before we get on a call with him? The, uh, the oh, okay, app. right. Right, the kind of style. I right. think he's good, like silly. Yeah. I really think we got the wrong idea here. I'm not too worried. It's just live, that's all. But I, yeah. I, hey, I'm ready to be a little Tracy fan. The funny thing about him is that he keeps changing his name on Twitter. Like I can't even find him right now. Oh, because I follow he, him, but I can't even find it. The screenshot I saw, he set his Twitter to private. When he said, H3, keep my name out of your mouth, it was a private tweet, which means only people who follow him can see it. Hmm. It's exciting. What else we got? Zack Schneider. Schneider. Bro, you guys got so angry last time I made fun of the, Jack, the Zack Schneider <laughs> Justice League. It's one of our most disliked highlights ever. Yep. Could someone link me that highlight? Uh, yeah, let me see if I can pull it up. But anyway, the reason I bring up the Zack Snyder Justice League is because apparently the J uh, Jared Leto Joker is getting a huge feature in it. <laughs> so, like, somehow they didn't get the memo that everybody hates Jared Leto Joker. <laughs> Here, let's see. I was blown away, you know. Let's see, Justice League. We're saying there's no way this movie's going to be it's good. It's a trailer. F Look at the dislikes. You guys ever see anything like that in your life? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we said there's no way. Yeah, I was just searching for it, and uh, there's other videos. Uh, H3H3's terrible reaction video to Zack Snyder's oh, Justice Oh, really? League. There's, yeah, like, content about our take? Yes. 
How many views does that one have? Uh, not a lot. 50,000. Dude, 50,000 views, 5,000 dislikes. 5, oh, the name is pretty The name is pretty inflammatory. I was just, <laughs> the name of the clip is Justice League is Try Hard Garbage. That's, fucking tough. <laughs> That's a little bit tough. Wait, so let's read the comments. I'm scared, but let's see. <laughs> How can you polish a turd? A perfect way to describe this channel. Oh! <laughs> Turned it around. Everybody keeps making it about his daughter. It's very sad that his daughter died. It doesn't make the okay, movie good. Be, to it be doesn't fair, matter. To be fair, I wish you told me about his daughter before I made this fucking like blast off video because I feel like I had no idea about the story with his daughter and it just made me look kind of insensitive. Huh. So I blame Dan kind of for that. One. <laughs> All right, blame me. But I, I don't think it, it, it doesn't impact the quality of the film. I agree with you, but I'm just saying, like, here's the top, second comment. Zack Snyder's daughter committed an S-word during the movie's production, and he had to leave. So I was like, okay, yeah, Ethan's an asshole. <laughs> I hope Dan is going to be okay. <laughs> Here someone says, you literally have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, name a good movie he's made, except 100. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Most in, <laughs> We're still only giving him a third of the credit here. Wait, what? The movie is 300, not 100. Wow. <laughs> exactly. You're talking about 300? <laughs> yeah, 100, bitch. <laughs> it's a work screen, Jack. Most annoying video I've ever seen. Jesus, these people sound like old people who hate technologies. I'm sorry, you know his movies suck. His movies fucking <laughs> suck. Like, they look cool. Like, I would say. They don't even look cool. That's not true. Washed out garbage. Terrible cinematography. Awful films. Front to back. Nothing redeeming. I disagree. Oh I think they look cool. Like Watchmen, I want I wanted to like that so much. You know what I mean? Like I wanted to like it so much. It was okay. Watchmen? Not the show. There was a mm -hmm. movie he made. Ethan making fun of the song, not knowing Zach chose it because his dead daughter's favorite song. That's your fault, Dan. Yeah, that's not fair. That's your fucking fault. You did that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, someone said, Ethan hasn't seen the movie. How can you say Paul should turn? I've seen the movie. Isn't it just a recut of the movie that exists? It's, it, it's more significant than that. It, it's, oh. it, you, for all intents and purposes, it is a different film. So we don't know what we're talking about. Oh, so we didn't know what we're talking <laughs> about, No, Dan. but it's not... That doesn't mean that it... Dan did it. <laughs> this is Dan's fault. So anyway, here's the trailer that everyone was freaking you, out Dan. because... <laughs> Joker, Jared Letter Joker literally says we live in a society. Uh, that might be the wrong link because there's one that is, well, I can't do it. Oh, this is, well, I'm kind of curious. I want to ah. watch it anyway. But Jared Letter says we live in a society. Like, okay, dude, whatever. You're fucking in a cold. Hey, everyone. I'm excited to show you the first official trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Check it out. Who's this? Is this him? Yes. Oh, so why does he say why does he say my? He says Zack Snyder's cut. It's like he what are you talking in third person? You talk in third up? person a lot. He does. He does that. Everything. All of the marketing for this is it, like presented by Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder's cut of the <laughs> Zack Snyder cut of Zack Snyder's Justice League. Interesting. He's got his name on it like twenty times. Guys, please don't hate me for not liking this trailer. Oh my god, just please don't kill me. <laughs> I'll try to be more factual though. All right, Dan. Go easy Blame on everyone. Blame Dan. Blame Dan. I'm going to try to um, be as fair as possible, though. Okay. <laughs> well, first, did he make the Superman film? Yes. Okay, so first of all, I have to tell you guys with peace and love. One of the worst movies ever made, right? I love yeah. Superman. And when I saw that trailer, I was wanted to like that movie so bad. You remember yeah. I even looked to it and I was like, oh, this is going to be so mm. good. I'm so excited. I'm telling you guys, you cannot put back the piece of my heart that was torn out <laughs> from how fucking dog shit this Superman film was. It was, was without so a bad. doubt, one of the worst, most offensive, horribly made, horribly conceived movies I've ever seen. <laughs> and, to, and you have Superman, which is some of the best lore. Mm -hmm. You could have made it so good, and it was just the biggest fucking heaping pile of shit. I hate that movie. You cannot disagree. That movie was so bad. People okay. love it. They defend it. No, 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 no. Nobody likes that. <laughs> I, no! 
It's no, the same likes people that. that are that are downloading wait, wait, wait. our video. It's the same people that well, think no, that he's a genius. I think people were mad about the whole daughter issue that I was ignorant. No, of. you you don't understand the. Hold on, hold on. What's the name has. of that movie? Superman. Man what? of Steel. Man. And I was like, oh, Man of Steel. Oh it's gonna God, be so that movie good. Was so bad. Fuck. I thought it was gonna be shit. so good. Ah. Man, 2013. Sounds about right. Okay, wait. I'm looking at the IMDb. It has a seven. No, I can't deal with that. This guy is not a cult. Dude, that movie was so bad. You guys, I almost Left walked me out. Black hole and I, rage and confusion. <laughs> <laughs> it has a 53 on meta, which I guess is better, but probably too generous. You guys, you can't like this film. I'm, I almost, it was so stupid. Literally. Ugh, you guys, stop, please. Okay. And All then right. he, of course, also made Batman vs. Ah. Superman, <laughs> which is <laughs> even worse somehow. Significantly worse. Which is crazy because, like, I felt like they were perfectly cast. I was like, he's a great Superman, Ben Affleck's a great Batman, and somehow it was dog doo-doo. Burning dog doo-doo. Do any of you guys like this? Admit it. Zach, admit it. A.B., admit it. Never saw it. A.B.? Well, no, I didn't like it. No, I didn't like it. you just saying that. No, no, I, I kind of hit my mute <laughs> button. I, I didn't like it. Okay, thank you. I was no. expecting something like The Dark Knight. And I was That's down. what I wanted. That's what I we wanted. Were the expecting. Dark Knight. I wanted a backstory that was interesting and about someone who was vulnerable and gritty and dark. That I didn't was get that. Totally what we were expecting too. Love? Any comment? Haven't seen it. Okay. God bless you, love. What time is it there, love? Love's in Sweden. Peace mm. and love. Peace and, and love. love. So soon midnight. Almost midnight. Yep. That's oh, not too bad. That's not too bad. <laughs> I already don't like it with the music. The music is such an easy mode because it's like such an easy way to invoke emotion. It's like a Joel Stein cube. <laughs> Well, we have to watch it, you know, for the meme. For sure, we're gonna the watch God it. Is dead. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Fuck me. Maybe it's good. The thing is, I love superheroes. I'll watch it with an open mind. Yeah, I just I my prediction good, is it's guys. going to be one of the worst films ever made. Guys, I want it to be good. You just be sure. I want it so bad to be. I want all these films to be good. I love these superheroes. I love Batman. I love Superman. I want this. I had a dream. I'm sorry, the cinematography is just like Almost yellow like everything. Yeah. This yellow everything. It's not like. There was a moment when like an there was blue everything. And I hated all those yes. movies. Now it's yellow He kind of lies at the convergence of those two things because. The, I hate that. Because he has the, the everything's blue warriors. thing going on a lot. And that's as like well. an immediate bad movie for me. To defend ourselves. How do you know your team's strong enough? I mean, you can't really tell anything from the trailer, to be honest, because they, they made, managed to make, like, Superman look good in the trailer. And it was the weird... Ah. It was also, like, the weirdest film. The yeah. editing in Man of Steel is some of the worst I've ever seen in a movie. <laughs> whoa, 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 Zach! Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Zach, what happened? God, what Wait, happened? Where's Jared Leto? He, why is Jared... Why is it's Joker, coming up. The Joker why the fuck at the is end. Joker even in this film? Why is Joker in this film? Ah. Why? He was, is, apparently, he wasn't originally. They they've consciously gone out of their way to shoot new material, which Jared why the for. fuck is Joker in this film? Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, he is a, the iconic villain for Batman, so it. How is Joker gonna save the planet? Joker brain. <laughs> yeah, he's like <laughs> Joker's, he's Joker Joker's good at causing mayhem and chaos. How is he gonna save the fucking planet? It's Joker and brain. I gotta see this Joker clip, bro. It's coming up. <laughs> you were sent here for a reason. I was sent there for a reason. And even if it takes you to wake up. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> Find out what also, is. Batman's not supposed to use weapons, and he was like shooting guns. Wait, like, was that Ben Affleck's bro, back yeah. without a tattoo? I think that was. Oh. Uh, no, I think that was a Cavill. That's Ben. That was Superman. No, that's 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 uh that's Batman once again no, shooting this, projectiles. This. Okay, no, that's, that's Superman. Not ben. Yeah, that's oh, Superman. Okay. Yeah, come on, Ela. Just wanted to see our favorite tattoo. Yo. 
<laughs> he literally was sniping people in one of these films, and anyone that knows anything about Batman, he doesn't use fucking weapons. <laughs> Superman uh, yeah, also so. kills oh. in cold blood in these movies. He, he doesn't have an understanding of these characters. Hmm. Sorry. Find out what that reason is. <laughs> Every trailer. Wait, go. Uh, Dude, I'm still waiting for how Joker is involved in this fucking story. Zach, if you claim me, I'm going to kill you. Peace and love. I'm not going to kill anyone. Where's Joker? Wait, wait. It has to. It has to. So they did like a whole big Joker moment. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? <laughs> Batman. <laughs> the timing on that laugh. <laughs> Zach was fantastic. This, I mark my words. Let's can, watch it. I really want to watch it. call me a liar. When the, March 18th. And make fun All of right. me. But if anything proves to me beyond a shadow of a doubt that this movie is going to suck bad, that last Joker scene. <laughs> We live in a society. We live in a society. I'm fucking stoked. <laughs> I'm excited to see it too, but... Oh, March 18th? That's really soon. That's really soon. Okay, you guys can all laugh in my so face and call me an idiot. It, by the way? It's, on it's, H- streaming. it's on HBO Max. Dude, oh. HBO Max is like coming hard. Was good Perfect. Shit. Yeah, it's. Um, I'm gonna watch it with an open mind. Me all, too. Despite all the Me shit talking. Me too. If it's if it's good, I'm happy to admit I'll that I'm wrong. I'll come out here and do a jig. All right. A joy uh, for Zack right. Schneider and his 100 troopers that could never be taken down. Really? <laughs> are you doing that intentionally? Or are you just that time I did okay. intentionally. We live in a society. We live in a society. <laughs> 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 You guys, come on, though. You know, Zach originally uh, called me to be in the movie. Um, mm. He was trying to recast uh, Jared? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did, I had work that day, so I couldn't. Okay. You had to work on the H3 podcast. You were Zach, good Zach, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> give it up for Zach. <laughs> we love it, don't we, folks? <laughs> Just to prove my loyalty to you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Well. You what want- did we think about the recent Joker movie? We loved it. Yeah. Guess who was not involved in it in any way? <laughs> Zack Schneider. Or his fucking Joker. You guys want to do a Joker tier list? Is that a fun... Now might be a fun time. How long have we been going, Dan? Uh, I've actually been going pretty long. We are two hours, 15 minutes-ish. You want to end off with ah. the Joker tier list? Yeah. I know this is dumb, but <laughs> I thought it'd be funny with Zach's obsession and Jared Leto. We've been talking a lot about different Jokers. How do I do this, though? Because don't you have to open it? In, in uh, it's in Photoshop. Photoshop. I already I pre-opened it on your screen. You what, do you, what is Zach or uh, Ian got going on over here? Oh. What is oh, that? interesting. You've got, this is a collage? Just, oh, this is all the Zach Schneider. Back, get away. Let, let me see everything behind you. And you can narrate for us. Go ahead. <laughs> it's the writing on the wall here. Pretty much. <laughs> says, <laughs> it's, uh, this movie is going to fucking kick ass. I love that Aquaman was the only Ian, one. Ian, how did you do this decent. so fast? What's going on here? I just screenshot him. Aquaman, yeah, they're not all Zack Snyder, but it's all in the uh, same. He's sort of the, the visionary of the uh, overall uh, series. How interesting. Like, Aquaman's the, le- the one that I would least expect to like do half well. That was the know? only one that just kind of... Im- <laughs> It it was a little bit self aware of the fact that Aquaman is goofy and just kind of leaned into it. I so. watched Aquaman on a film or on a on a blah, 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 flight. <laughs> it was pretty dog. Did you shit. like it? I'm sorry. It was pretty dog shit. Okay, well, fair enough. Sorry. I mean, it was okay. Get your work straight, Jack. <laughs> but y'all really forgetting about Suicide Squad? Suicide Squad. Uh, this new um, Wonder Woman. By the way, oh, we have a up there. Uh, yeah, no, we don't. Yeah, I heard it was really bad. I just, I, I, I admit, I, I have not seen it, but uh, I, the uh, reviews I was reading, it sounded pretty shocking how uh, terrible it is. Well, you know, I loved the first one. The first one I thought was great. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people liked that first one, but it seemed was like Zach involved uh, in the first one? I think he's an executive producer on all of them because, again, they kind of gave him the reins to this whole uh, 
extended universe of movies. So where's the tier list? I don't have it on my computer. Where is it? It's, it, it Photoshop should already be open. It's, it's minimized. Not. Oh. No, I don't believe you. Go ahead. Ah. Unless I'm, I'm going to hack your computer right now. Go ahead. I mean, I even clicked it and it said I need to enter my my ID. Oh, shit. Did it get logged out? Okay. I'm sorry for doubting you. Give me a second. <laughs> I'll definitely come out here and just eat crow on this Zack Schneider shit. I promise you. Just please don't, like, swap me or something because I didn't like the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Dan's logging in. Thank you. Confirm your phone number. Exciting stuff. Yeah, exciting stuff here. Dan is confirming his phone number. Uh, Two-step. Adobe. Okay. Waiting. Dan is waiting for his text. This is... Maybe we should do another segment while I set this up. Another segment? I got... Uh, what about... What, uh, uh, I don't know. Hey, Dan, that's not bad, huh? We are waiting. We are waiting. We are waiting. Dan is a great guy. Dan... He is verifying the uh, number now. That's one digit. Dan has been fantastic. That's two digits. He's having trouble typing the number in. Ian, is there any maybe um, donation? Dan is, well, I don't know what's going on with Dan typing in this code, but he's going back to the first one, <laughs> erasing it. Very intriguing. Okay. We, uh, invalid code. <laughs> Trying a diff, totally different code. That one was successful. Now you're living. Go ahead, enter his password. We are logging Wake into up. Adobe. Excellent. We, we, we've landed. We've arrived. Wake up. So we have to sign out of the device. Uh, a couple of donations. Uh, yeah. Rory donated and said, Mark Hamill better be at the top of your Joker tier list. For mm -hmm. sure. Uh, mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Dan. Superman's... Superman's photoshopped uh, mustache in Man of Steel is unacceptable. <laughs> I forgot exactly. about that. No, that I was in, that was in Justice League, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it. Or well, either way, it's like wherever it was, that was, it was so Justice unacceptable. League. So here's what they did. If you guys don't know, he he had a mustache because he was doing another movie for during reshoots, and so they're like, it's fine. We'll just photo. We'll just digitally remove the mustache. Or add it, or digitally add it. I think they removed it. They yeah, removed look, it. look at this they shit. Removed it? Ugh. Look at <laughs> this. <laughs> oh my god. No. And that's pictures of him, like, on set, what he actually looked like. Uh, no. So no, that's, no, no. you know, look at this. Nope. <laughs> nope. Wow. That's Bruh. really something. But that is a bra moment right there. Oh, jeez. Okay, you guys ready? Ready. Okay, this is exciting. Joker tier list in honor of Zach and Zach Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, we've got Zach. Let's start yeah, with... Zach's on here. I mean, so let's start with um, Jared Leto, which is obviously going to be F. <laughs> Just to set our baselines, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then our favorite Make Joker, sure so we... Toys. Wait, where is... Wait, you guys don't have Mark... Oh, we do have Yeah, we Mark do. Hamill. So, Mark Hamill... So, here, let's get the good ones out and then think. The new one. You gotta put my... And Jack... Jack on the, like, these are all kind of the... These are the iconic Jokers. So this is gonna be actually a tough call for me. Hmm. Mm. I, personally, <laughs> would put the Mark Hamill one... Top tier. That's S. That's that's my vote. I he's so good. I you know I had no fucking idea that was Mark Hamill like until maybe like a few years ago. And I watched the Batman show my whole life. And he's mm. so fuck. He's such a talented voice actor. Yep. He's also I great in the like, Batman video games. I feel like all the good ones are S. <laughs> yeah, I feel like honestly <laughs> like, <laughs> these are all S. Peace and love. Jack Nicholson's was great for the time, but it wasn't as like a serious. I mean, he definitely deserves an A. I'd agree. Like, a, a tier lower is fair. Yeah. Lego? So, I, I'm actually not familiar <laughs> with Lego. Uh, I can't... It's voiced by Zach Galifianakis. Really? Yeah. I've That's never funny. watched it. So. I, I honestly can't comment, so I'll just put him C. 
Yeah, would be some love. Seems pretty fair. Well, what do you think? <laughs> have, have you seen the the movies, Zach? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen everything related to Joker, Joker Brain, Joker Lore. Ian, do me a uh, favor. <laughs> will you catch? Will you read a review of um, Zach Galifianakis, <laughs> Joker? <laughs> From Lego Movie. Wait, who, who, who is that? <laughs> Zach Galifianakis. Come on, there man. Go. His Joker. Uh, Come on, man. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, let's see what the critics had to say about it. Now, what? How were we placing Zach? I'd say like D or E tier. Oh fuck you, Dan. Yeah, I'll, I'll put you above, Jared. <laughs> you're, you're gonna you're you're gonna do me like that. I, what do you want? What I'm gonna lie and just be, you know give you the where do you see yourself? friends favor? Yeah, where do I'm, you see? I'm fucking a tier, dude. At least you, I mean, you're on, on the same you're on the same level as Jack Nicholson. Bro, I live this life. <laughs> Zach, you're wearing a Joker mask from Target, bro. No, it's not from Target. It's from Amazon. Thank you very much. It's worse. You can. Uh, here's a review of Zach Galifianakis's Joker. He said his gleeful, kid-friendly Joker was just as adorable as he was crazy. Probably the least intimidating version you will ever see. Sounds like an E. Uh, no, people in the chat like him. Oh, okay. He's outshined by his guy. on screen Batman, who is much funnier. Oh, he's out. You get upstage by. Yeah, sounds I like think a D. That sounds like a D to me. Ah. Hey, people really like that, huh? Apparently, Lego got like a whole dynasty that I'm not aware of. Like the games, the movies. People really love these Lego. Sh yeah. These Lego. Spin. I haven't seen the one. The Joker one, but that original Lego movie was fantastic. So Zach, with peace and love, I mean, let's let's be honest, bro. You're no Zach. You're gripping me with nobody. You're on your own. You're, you're on a, your own. You're in a league of your own. But that's fucked up, man. You know. You want an F? No. <laughs> I, I can you put me at least a B? I mean, look at look no. at the B. Look no. at me. There's no fucking way here, B. Look at my poise. You know, I'm uh... your poise. The yeah, Joker. I don't think the Joker's. You're smokes, off, bro. I'm putting you here <laughs> where you could just barely see the image. <laughs> Did me dirty, dude. You're Why does this look like Zach? Who is this? Uh, his name is Cameron uh, Mont. I, I can't pronounce his last name, but I swear to God, I thought that was you, Zach. <laughs> no, he's on the show Gotham, and he was also. Uh, I guess you would know him from the show Shameless. Gotham that doesn't sound very promising. Can you get me a review, please, Ian? Of his Joker shtick. One second. Meanwhile, Creed, you know, is S tier. That's just terrifying. <laughs> I'm glad you're Over Creed. fucking. Oh my god. Look at that. That is. I have never seen pull off Joker like Creed is right here, right now. <laughs> Dude, look at me. In fact, Creed should be the only one in S tier, and I should move all these yeah, down. Else down a little bit, yeah. This is rigged. Creed is S tier only. <laughs> I would be most terrified of him. I mean, I don't know what to say. This is like the OG Joker. Like, I, I, I have no comment. He was the goat, dude. I think I think he is pretty iconic. I think at least on the same tier as Jack. Really? Okay, yep. there you go. I'll give him respect. I mean, that old show is goofy as hell, but uh, but he was great. <laughs> that Creed, that fucking Creed Joker shot is iconic. <laughs> you cannot convince me that this isn't the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, that's S tier for sure. I just, wait, didn't we? I thought, I thought AB had a Joker pick too. Well, if he does, it's his down was. Here. But his was the. Uh, his, his is down here with Zach, wherever it is. <laughs> well, oh, his I'm was the Jared be... Leto uh, Joker. Remember? Yeah. So get you I'm... got a, you got a review for me, Ian. So where we know where to place uh, the Gotham Joker? Uh, yeah, it says uh, that he has the mischievous grin down. But there are too many moments of is he the Joker or not because he has a twin brother. That's, he might be the Joker. This is the it, fucking TV, live brother. action TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fuck you. Yeah, grinning and twin. This was the Joker of a twin. Oh, uh, uh, someone's saying we're forgetting Shunai's Joker. Oh, oh, how could we forget Shunai's how could Joker? We forget? You're so right. Hold on, let me pull that. Shunai's so right. Joker. Thank you for the yeah, comment. No, that is a good call. Well, I'm glad to know that I'm on the Z tier. So yeah. I guess that's <laughs> you're off the chart. Here, here, here. 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 Oh, I, I got, I got Dan, it. you see I him doing it. You don't have to fucking baby me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Well, the, no, go ahead. Zach, go ahead. No, you go I'm ahead. talking. Now just do it. You're in my I computer. Just don't know, you don't know how to... Go ahead, Dan. Dan, Dan hacks Dan into my fucking it. computer. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Doesn't take a rocket surgeon, Ethan. <laughs> wow, <laughs> sure. 
Okay, Dan, so fast. He goes, save image, <laughs> save the desktop. Wow, this is genius. Who could have ever figured you this out? No go ahead, I'm watching. I'm panic. watching. Every other time, <laughs> go ahead, Dan, go ahead, do it. <laughs> do it. Every Let's other see. time with Photoshop, you've, you've freaked out. You, you go, go download recent files, <laughs> drag on. Wow. It's a lot of porn in that there. That was high level shit, bro. <laughs> it's not working. And it's not, it's not even working. <laughs> it's not working. Uh, I think you got to put it up on the layers, genius. All right. Uh, it's, it's hard for me to do this remote. I, I apologize. You, okay, you go ahead and handle it. Oh, thank you, Zach. Oh, see, I fixed oh, it. Oh, it did work. No, I fixed it. <laughs> you just. It, <laughs> I've actually got, gotten okay, better at Photoshop. Okay, nice Joker. Okay. In the past, in the past, that you've been intimidated by it. So oh, I was trying to help you out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Well, you know he's ass because he's the most terrifying <laughs> along with Creed. Yeah. Are like, you shitting me? <laughs> what? What's your argument against that? All right, Zach, I'm give a... us a Joker impression. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let me pull you out of the void, Zach, and see. Let's put you up. This is your big moment. You're out of the void for now. What's a classic line? Sorry, what was a little that? more, a little more. What's, yeah. a, what's a classic line he could do? Put a smile on that face. Put a smile on that face. That's a good one. Go ahead. But that's like Heath Ledger Joker. What does it matter? Uh, what you? Well, that's a Joker well, there's, line. There's aiming for the stars. There's different Jokers. So which Joker oh. are you? Bro, I'm not. <laughs> which Joker are you, Zach? All right, I'm Zach. Okay, give me a line. It's falling down back to the void. <laughs> I eat fucking mayonnaise. That should be enough. Nah. Mm. Z2. How do you know that's not mayonnaise on my mm. face? That white makeup. How do you know that's not mayo? You at one point promised you'd do that, and you never came through. It's so. just not. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I did. did that on the Christmas special. Yeah, oh, did he? Yeah. You know, I huh. I got to jump in and, and, and defend my guy, Zach, here. Really? Because yeah, I think I think he's J tier. <laughs> oh, the true J. Ian, my man. Isn't that where he is? You want him just off yeah, the screen he, totally? He, he, he's right right down here. Right here. Go to my screen, please. <laughs> but it's not showing here, there. I'm slowly going down all the way to the void. <laughs> here's his photo. Yeah, I mean, J tier is fine. Here, is it, here's his photo. He's all the below way G. Down here. H, I. <laughs> down here. J. Thank you. Nice. Peace and love. Thanks, Ian. All right. This is a pretty definitive list. <laughs> Off the charts, but always in your heart. <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good. That's All good. right. Guys, what else is there to say? Hmm. Nada. Nada? That's it? And look no, no word on little Tracy? I don't think it's going to happen. No today. response from Tracy. No response. Of course, he... Don't don't say anything bad about him. <laughs> don't say anything bad about him. No, I don't want to. I don't oh. want to mess around with little Trace. We are cool with little Trace. Is he the guy with the diamond in his forehead? <laughs> no. Oh. Get Wake it. up. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> okay, well we're done. So if you guys want to watch, so TeddyFresh.com, lots of cool stuff. Go check it out. If you want to keep watching H3 podcast over the weekend, check out our last episode that came out yesterday. It's phenomenal, and. Until uh, then, we look forward to Tuesday. You know we're going to have a good episode on Tuesday. That's right. And actually, That's I don't right. want to get I don't want to ruin anything, but we have huge costume vibes on Tuesday, too. Yes. All right. You're doing all, all right. right. Yeah, don't spill it. Right. Huge <laughs> costume vibes. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Well, thank you guys. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. With thank peace you. and love. Peace and love. I appreciate you guys. I love y'all. Thank you to the members who come here and support us graciously. Yes. Thank Every you. Thank time. you. It makes thank such a you. difference. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for joining. You get all the peace episodes and love. as soon as we possibly peace get them. Love. Peace uh, and love. Peace, peace and, and love. 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 Uh, we got to go cruising the new car. We got to go That's hang right. out. That's we right. got to go. You're doing some prep for the costume today, right? That's right. Yes, I am. The, the <laughs> war party starts tonight. <laughs> I can't believe it. All right, gamers. Ta -ta. How's that Bloodborne coming? Bloodborne is so fun. I love that game. I'm in the Nightmare Frontier slash and the Nightmare of the Jin, Jin or whatever yep, his name is. Yep, 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 yep. I'm confused by the... The Nightmare Frontier, is that place optional or what? Because I cleared it all and just went to a dead end. Um, I think the 
Frontier is optional. Okay, yeah. that's what he said. The other guy's nightmare, like, the frenzy is insane. Like, I immediately died, so I had to, like... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand what was going on. I was like just all of a sudden dying. So I had to go. But now I'm good. I, I got like the frenzy jam and the yeah, frenzy yeah, clothing yeah. and stuff. And now I'm better. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the guys there are so strong. It's mm-hmm. crazy. It's pretty much the end of the game. You're almost there. Oh, am I? Yeah. Wow. I didn't, and that, that's one, one of the shortest bl- blood games I've played, if that's the case. Mm. But the last few bosses, I you feel You haven't like, done any of the DLC yet, though, have you? No, no, no. None of that. Go do that before you beat the game. Really? Yeah. I don't understand DLCs you do before the game ends. That doesn't make sense. It's supposed to add... Because everybody already beat the game when the DLC comes out. Uh, True, but in their case, it just gets kind of inserted into... The middle. The middle. So you think it makes more sense to beat the DLC before the end of the game? I do. And, sh- and should I do that at this point in the game, or should yeah. I wait? Okay. I think you're ready. Hila, are you, are you <laughs> having fun? I'm so fucking over it. <laughs> All right. Bloodborne's fun. I'm just glad. Surprisingly short. Broccoli I'll... soup TikTok. Okay, right. Broccoli Ta- soup TikTok. Ch- go to my TikTok. I'm going to make broccoli soup for y'all. You know, Bloodborne was probably the most fun I had, but I found it to be the easiest and shortest of the series. I think it's just that you've played them all so much that you're really good now, and you're able to just blast the room. That's awesome. I feel like such a fucking pro now. Yeah. Because last time I played Bloodborne, I quit out of pure... You're like halfway off the screen now. I cut, I, <laughs> I, cut, I, I quit out of pure frustration. I feel like this is impossible to beat. I, I think I was... This whole thing started with you yelling at me and having an argument on the show about how those games the fucking thousands. suck. Right. It was so boring. Well, it's over. Fuck the show's the... over. Of course we're losing Thank people. Thank God it! Imagine how many people we're going to lose when we end the stream. <laughs> Daddy? Daddy? The real foot soldiers will stick around until next week. Just stay yes. right on this page. <laughs> Katamari is the best game if you guys really Yeah, Katamari is. I'm not going to argue really with you on that. Katamari there. is fantastic. And I so bet yeah, it. I'll probably be beating... Okay, I'll play the DLC then. Uh... Honestly, I tried the jigsaw thing, but I can't. I can't give up the holy sword. It's just the damage is so insane. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know. Yeah, I get it. I can't believe the game's almost over so fast. You know, the last boss I played, I fuck, I literally, <laughs> I'm one shotting bosses now, Dan. First try, bosses. Uh, you well, you farmed up. If you, I mean, if you want a real challenge, do a soul level one. Um, you know, no leveling. I don't want a real challenge. <laughs> Is New Game Plus worth it on Bloodborne? Is there another game like Katamari that anyone can recommend? Well, there's uh, there's a few Katamari games. There's not just one. Yeah, I don't know if you've all. played them all. Uh, probably played them all. Wait, Dan, is New Game Plus good on Bloodborne? Uh, I don't think it really has anything special Nothing about it. I... It's just a harder challenge. Yeah, you guys have any uh, game <laughs> recommend? Go ahead. Uh, Tracy has not responded to our message from the podcast uh, yeah. Instagram. But he just wrote a flame emoji on one of my pictures. What? <laughs> oh, so your homies my with... account. <laughs> oh, what was the picture? Send me the link. I want to see what he liked. Wait, is it uh, with your costume? With the yeah. pyramid? I knew it. See, I think we could be good friends. You think we could be I really with do. Trace? Yeah. Does anyone call him Trace? <laughs> you. You do now. Homie Trace. <laughs> That's awesome that you guys are dogs now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how he ended up there. <laughs> how he found you? <laughs> yeah. Give me the link. Let's check right, in. Sec. Little Trace is is snooping on your shit. Do you follow him? No. Oh my goodness! You better follow him back. Oh wait, where is it? Because I only follow, follow him on Twitter. Bro, how, hit hit me with that uh, waiting music, Zach. Oh, there it is. I see, see a fire. Emoji? Yeah, oh, Trace. I'm going to like it. Why is it taking so long to give me a link? Peace and love. What are you looking for a link? I followed him on Instagram. I'm, I'm waiting for the link to, in, to Ian's Instagram where the flame is. Okay. Oh, you're sending me a screenshot? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, this photo is fucking it's, epic. Yeah. Yeah, did you Photoshop that or was that like Cam Grant's? Uh, I did it last night. Dude! Wow. He's blasting off. Love me, daddy. This <laughs> is a sick post, bro. Blocking the bad vibes. Thank you. Wow. I'm just so confused how he... 
ended up there. I, I just don't care. <laughs> Surely he doesn't understand the context or anything, too. He's like, this photo is fucking dope. And he's right. Nice, <laughs> good post, Ian. I'm going to go like that. I didn't see it. Why does it never show up on my feed? I'm going to go like Ian's post. God bless. I like Ian's Instagram. It's lit. <laughs> Cause he's so private and i am starving so i just want to know if the show is over yeah what the fuck Ian? your posts are so good here's one of you with the lady gaga oreos hella funny did you make this too oh yeah it's in that too yeah Jeez, you work oh oh my god you got some great photos here giving giving ian that yeah. all right <laughs> let's Obviously, have a good this, weekend this everybody <laughs> Love y'all. Peace and blessings upon you. Right. Joel Austin. If you are happen to be a celebrity or anyone with a following listening to this, do not flirt with your fans in the DMs. Meet them in other ways. Right. Or, actually, you know what? I'm even, I'm even going to put another footnote. People don't have the final say. And some of the doors... Oh, we already heard that. Whoa. I was like, whoa, Joel. We man. can all look <laughs> back and see times when we gave in to temptation... We let our guard down Talking about temptations? We were sloppy and didn't handle the situation the way we should. He is speaking it's directly to, to you. Shut up, Joel. I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to talk about the text. You already convinced me. How did we have to divorce? Hey, <laughs> Elon doesn't know how to stop it. Just turn it off. <laughs> Goodbye. I was saying, if, hey, you're, hey. if you're a celebrity, you can actually talk to people in the DMs. Just don't exchange nudes right away. Maybe meet them. If you think you're interested in them and you want to date them or something, maybe meet them. Go out, see who they are and if you like them, and then you can engage That's probably with them. good advice even if you're not a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dan. Just don't immediately hey, hey, send nudes hey, to hey, people hey. that you meet. On yeah, the I'm not saying you can't date a fan or whatever. I mean, that happens a lot, especially if you're but really famous. But anyone that's famous should be at least aware that they have a power dynamic over that person. They just got to tread Yeah, you got to be care careful. You have to be careful with that power because a lot of people want to... Whatever. I'm out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week on Tuesday for Frenemies. Uh, it'll be up Monday night for members. And then another H3 podcast coming out Thursday. And another After Dark on Friday. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're watching H to the three. You're watching H to the three. You're watching next to the three, 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 three. You're watching next to the three, 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 three. My drinks are made while the incest on the sleep. Shredder will stop barking more, freight is acting sweet. We'll do the real raw ritual with more. And ET, share a laugh with the real GLC out low. Jimmy Lee, they said we wouldn't come back, but you, we always do. Rice from the ashes like the Phoenix on the flex back to two. You're watching next to the three, 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 three. You're watching next to the three, 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 three. You're watching next to the three, 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 three. You're watching next to the three, three, three. I'm out.